doing today so uh funny story you guys want to know what happened i uh i didn't get my food again kind of cringe right two days in a row shoto doesn't get his breakfast shoto sits on an empty stomach it means i'm pretty i'm pretty sad man like i gotta get my brekkie and they didn't give me my brekkie so um it got canceled again for whatever reason uh i so I had to reorder. It's uh, it's here, but we're live now, and I don't want to be like a slob and eat like a messy breakfast while I'm like touching my keyboards and you know my mouse and everything like that. So I'm kind of at a, I, I took a bite and that's it. And um, I think that's all I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can do right now. Is like I can't uh, I can't really um consume my breakfast right now without feeling like a gross and like making my hands sticky and bleh. so i'm i'd rather just uh i'd rather just eat like a little later so don't worry we can wait no it's okay it's okay guys it's all right chill chill i'd hey look 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 for what it's worth that breakfast sandwich is uh calorically dense for a reason so uh i took one bite out of it it should get keep me going for like a couple hours all right it should keep me going for like two hours at most so we'll see all right yeah hmm. i'll eat i'll don't don't worry don't worry i'll eat it uh in a bit i just wanna i just wanna say hi everybody that uh came into the stream what's up how my guildies doing um hey little uh teaser for what's coming uh in probably next week or two weeks from now for all of my uh billy billy watchers i'm probably gonna do a chinese duolingo stream sometime soon there because i thought you know might as well do that right might as well try that out finally also um hold on what else uh yeah later today we got a big collab we got a massive a massive massive collab later tonight it's in like about 11 hours from now we're gonna be playing uh friday the 13th again and i love that game so much it's so fun but i'm gonna be hosting the collab with uh with ray saikuno mouse alira lily pichu shu and mista so all um that's our party for tonight we might have some sub-ins maybe if people have to leave early then uh i could probably like ask a few people to hop in and play with us if they want to but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens mm. but before that we're gonna play some horror game oh, hori hori <laughs> we're gonna play some horror games of our own uh i chose three selections for today's menu only the best for you my darling I felt cringe. I don't know why I did that. Uh, three horror games. I might do four tonight because I don't know how short these um, selections are going to be. We're going to see how they go. But yeah, we have three to four total 
Hori Games, yeah, a Hori game for a Hori streamer. You know, I've always been like this, guys. Like, for the people that don't know, and you're just coming here, it's like, damn, why is he so horny? I'm like, hey, man, I've been like this for like the past, what, half a decade. Man, nothing's really changed about me in that sense. More than like, I know how to tone it back a bit. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But yeah, sometimes you're a slut. And sometimes you just, you don't really take the slut out of you. You just perpetuate it and learn how to master the, the art of the slut, I, I think. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. So that's, um, that's my explanation. Master it? Yeah, you gotta master it. Like, uh, like a baiter, master baiter. Baits? You know, like, you gotta bait someone, be a master. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm trying to, like, connect the dots, and the dots are not connecting at all right now. Unless they are, then, like, hey, hey, keep it that way. All right. For me. Okay. Uh, Pikachu, thank for the 20 tier 1 gift subs. Pika, Pika, bitch. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ding, thank you so much for the dono. Sane, thank you for the bits, too. Did you have breakfast today? No. Oh, barely. Uh... Who else donated? Uh, I'll throw for the donut too. Thank you so much, Yui. And uh, to throw for the bits too. Um, no. Jamie, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Thank you guys for the... Hold on. The level 8 hype dream, by the way. Level 9. I just saw it right now. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah. Appreciate it. Okay. So, today we're going to be... Do I feel better today? Oh yeah, most definitely. I feel great. I feel awesome, ready to slap some mass and kill some monsters and run away like a bitch. <laughs> Cause I think most of these games is gonna require me to run away from, from scary monsters. So let's see what happens, right? I'm in here, like, I'm in there, like swimwear. As uh, people say, I'm ready to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Let me open up the shopping list. Cause that's our first game for tonight. Also, I finally got my uh, heart rate monitor to work, so that's Pog, right? That's that's pretty good. It works. It works. You guys can see my badum badum now, instead of like having to be like, Shoto, can you show us your heart rate? We need to see your heart rate. Like that, ooh, ooh. or something. That's how I, that's I don't know. That's how I saw some of you guys yesterday complaining about it. But hey, don't worry. I provide today. Because, you know, come on, your guild, guild leader always provides, right? Guild leader is always going to come back and he's always going to provide for his guild. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Ooh, I felt weird saying that. Okay. I'm not like a dad or whatever. I don't think I'm, nah, I don't, I don't think I emit father energy. Not that phase yet. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Where is the game? Where's my games? Yui Kiki, thank you for the donut too. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, where's my game? Hello? Full screen? Yeah, let's do full screen. Sure. <clears throat> I think I'll stick to this side of the screen until I know what to uh, until I know what to do. Also, I feel a little bit too big. My head's too big. I gotta, I gotta get small, smaller, and put that there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. 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 I emit mother energy. No, I do not. I oh no, I do not. I do not think so. I don't think I do. Milk, thank you for the five tier ones. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, where's the game volume though? Oh, that sounded funky. What? It's not like someone took a big bassy fart. Hold on. Let me reduce the volume. Very jazzy fart. It is kind of jazzy. Yeah, kind of jazzy. Hmm. Don't trust a stranger. Yeah, that's what my that's what my parents always used to say. Never trust a stranger, Shopo. Did I ever tell you the creepy story of, like, the dude that followed me home from the bus stop? I think I mentioned it one day, but there was this guy back when I was in, uh, sixth grade, I think. 
um, I was walking home. Oh, I'm really gonna miss my hometown. I hope moving to the city will give me more opportunities in life. Oh man, I almost forgot. I have to finish my shopping list before I crash at my new apartment. The shopping list. Rated E for everyone. Not really. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be rated E for everyone. Ooh, we're in a city. Press tab to check your shopping list. Press space to autoplay dialogues. Let the shopping begin. All right. Well, this is a horror game, so I don't know what to expect. Like I could trust this right now, but shit might go down later. So yeah, um, back to my story. I was walking, um, I, I take the bus to and from school because my parents can't really drive me since they had to leave super early for work and all that. And uh, they're kind of lazy, I think too. But I, I was walking home from the bus stop right and i noticed it's like about a five to ten minute walk back home and there i noticed this guy like following me right and like from a distance he was following me and every turn i made he also made every like every every street i went down like he went down the same street and it made me feel really weird right um so uh there's actually two occasions where i felt like i encountered some weirdo but this this time though it was uh somebody following me suspiciously and i had a bad feeling about it so what ended up happening was like uh also this was back like when i uh went to my grandma's house after school too so i had to like r dip into an alleyway and start running and like hide in my neighbors like between my neighbor's house and like another neighbor's house and so i hid there and like i waited for a while to make sure and honestly i could get used to what's it say i just hope these stores are open at night i'm missing important game dialogue for talking about this but um i dipped into an alleyway and hid for a while until i felt like it was safe maybe i was overreacting as fuck maybe that was like somebody i knew i don't know but i just didn't feel really it's like danger like your danger sense activates and you feel like something's wrong right when you feel something's wrong, I feel like maybe you should listen to your instincts. And I feel like right then and there, I had to listen to, I had to listen to what my, my flight instincts told me to do, which is just hide for a bit and run away. And yeah, ever since then, I haven't seen the guy ever again in that specific time, place, or like area. So I feel like something was up and it's, it makes it worse because I was the only one that got off at that bus stop, right? It was only me, but a couple years later, that's when my cousins that also went to the school also went to that bus stop. But yeah, it was really weird. Um, I never told my parents about that, by the way, I kind of just kept it to myself since I never thought much about it. So yeah, that was, uh, that was a time. Smart call. Yeah, smart call, right? I'm proud of young Shuffle. In some ways, more than others. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, he's sh shitting, sitting on top of the, the pro- Why are you sitting on the produce, my guy? Why do you look like that? Why does his eyebrows extend, like, around his face? I've never seen somebody with eyebrows like that. What? What am I supposed to get? Milk from the grocery store. Okay. So where's the milk? He needs some milk. I need some milk. Are those Lucky Charms? Pop-Tarts? Frosted Flakes Cheerios? Oh my god. Well, I mean, this is a free game after all. So I would hope that if they're going to use real stuff. Chips Ahoy? Lays, Gushers, yo, can I get some of those Gushers? Dude, I, I used to love Gushers so much. I don't think I've had a Gusher in like a hot while. They even have Fritos and stuff like that in Velveeta. What? Oh man, oh this takes me back. I mean, you'd probably see this at the grocery store anyways, but... Wait, why is there, hold on, why is there cereal over here too? And, and toilet paper. Ketchup? Salsa? drinks i don't know okay i mean i guess that's all they have yeah it's all the same and then they have like wine and and drinks 
and sauces, I think. I guess I'll just copy paste. Oh, who's that weirdo? Wait, you don't want to talk? I can't even cross the uh the point. There's like an invisible wall. Wake him up. E. Uh-huh. Who the hell are you? Choose your name. Oh. Wait, I got to choose my name? Shoto. Shoto? What a stupid name. What kind of weirdo would want to... Anyways, what can I do for you? Okay, Noel. Uh, well, do you happen to know where the milk is? The milk? Yeah, it should be over by the soda and drinks corner. If not, just come back here and I'll check the supply stock. Now leave me alone, let me rest! He's mean. I'm gonna slap your bald head, Noel. Okay. Kind of rude for a clerk. And he goes back to sleep. Who's this guy? He has milk. He has milk. Musty milk. He has musty milk. What? Can I have your musty milk? No? I guess I gotta get my own milk. Milk is out of stock. It literally says it's out of stock, you degen. Hold on. You have anything to say? Speak to Toast. His name is Toast? Like of the disguised variety? Hey, do you work here? No, I don't. But I'm actually hoping to get a job working here. Well, how's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Not too good. Aw, buddy. I got fired from my previous job at the tech store. Why? Cuz they replaced me with a fucking machine. Oh. I'm sorry, but come on. And now people are barely can even shop here because they find the whole machine thing weird. Do they? Well, anyways. I'm gonna continue to look busy so I can get this job. Let me know how that goes. Good luck shopping, I guess. Thank you, Toast. Alright, bye. He's camping the Slurpee machine. What if I want a Slurpee? So, I mean, I can't get my milk. He's ugly. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> wow, no chill. No chill today. What? What is this supposed to be? It's just polygons. Of tomatoes? Apples? I, I can't tell. It's a pyramid. Okay, sir. I don't have milk. You gotta give me your milk. Please? I need milk. Milkies and shit. So did you find what you're looking for? No, the milk is out of stock. Alright, no worries. I'll take a look back here for you. Alright, Jordan. Give the customer the milk. No, it's my milk! Jordan, no! If they want my milk, they gotta pay extra. Alright, so you're gonna have to pay extra for the milk. Choose your payment amount. Huh? Fuck it. What if we just give him... <laughs> what? Wait, I get crumpy when I'm tired. I've barely gotten any sleep, you know? Can I have my thousand dollars back? The disappearances that has happened around here lately. Oh? You don't know? Well, just take my advice and finish the shopping of yours before it gets dark. Did I really just get... Alright, bye-bye now. I think I just spent $6,900 on milk. Dude. What? He looks so sad. Dude, you have $69,000. Don't be sad. It's okay, buddy. Alright, you'll get more musty milk. <clears throat> yeah, that guy's out. He's sleeping. Alright, well, this is a pretty shitty shopping experience if I'm gonna be honest. I'm- I don't wanna come back. Ever. <clears throat> poor dude. No, there's no- there's no poor dude. He has- he has all my money now. Okay, so I need shampoo from the body shop. Where's the body shop at? Who's this guy? 
Mm. Hey, you! I'm gonna need to see some ID before I let you continue down this path. It's a strict security procedure that we have to follow as this week's latest events. Sorry about that, I had a cough. <laughs> now get over here and hand me your ID. Shit, I lost my ID before I came here. Uh, can I just leave? Can I just leave? Why does he have a dumpy? Why'd they give this guy such a dumpy? What's your name? I just... No, I can't leave. It doesn't let me. Fine. Speak to Ruben. <clears throat> Hand it over. Uh, choose your reply. Lie, lie, or lie. Wow. Do I feel like lying? Do I feel like lying? Or do I feel like lying? I feel like lying. Uh, I left my ID in the car. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Fine, just hurry up, will ya? Also, my eyesight is really bad, so you better not do anything cheeky with the card now. <laughs> Maybe I can find something that looks like an ID card in the dumpster. Oh, what? How convenient. There's a dumpster right over here. Okay, sure. I guess we're, we're digging through the trash for... for <laughs> Okay, I don't think we need more musty milk. We got some more musty milk, but... What is this? A missing persons poster. Uh-oh. Is that is that what he's talking about? The guy talking about the disappearances and shit? Oh, look at that! Hey! How, how convenient! An ID card! Oh! My name is Billy Seps. Press E to borrow. Sh Wait, isn't that him? It looks just like you. Oh, that's right. Dude, I can only dream to have magnificent muscles like like Billy Sups. Okay. Hey, how, what's it going? How's it going, Ruben? Took you long enough. Sorry about the delay, but I got what you wanted right here. Hmm, let's take a look here then. You sure this is you? It's a little blurry. They don't make him like they used to. What? Your eyes? Oh, right. No glasses. Hey, uh, you promised this is you on the card, right? Yeah, of course, officer. I would never lie to you. Then piss off! God. Damn, mean as fuck. All of that cake. All that cake and for what? For you to be an asshole. Man. Yeah, Ruben. You're playing. I don't know why you're playing. So far, so good. I don't think there's any stalkers. It doesn't seem like there's any stalkers trying to go after me. What is that place? <laughs> Dude, I don't like the look. Is that like the, the bathhouse? No, not the bath. Uh, the bathrooms, yeah. I just go inside? No. Doesn't really let me. Hello. Music box. Oh, this brings back memories. Oh no, I'm going into a flashback. Fuck. 1975 The Bite of 75 He led her to this kingdom where he was joyfully received and they lived for a long time afterwards happy and contented heart emoji Wow Wasn't that story exciting sweetie? Question mark That way very good Oh face Haha <laughs> uh -huh. Heart emoji You're so cute I love you sweetie Heart emoji I love you too, mommy. Happy face, heart emoji. <laughs> That's how babies are gonna start talking like a uh, hundred years from now. Yeah, that's cringe. Very cringe. I don't know why the dialogue decided to include all that shit in there. Like, <laughs> they could have just had the dialogue be simple text, but hey, you know, that's that's fine too. Whoever does the writing. Oh, the body shop. I think uh, we got, um... E. Love your booty. Makeup. Check out. Is this a body shop? This looks like... Those, those look like drinks. 
Okay. There's nothing here. A shampoo? A shampoo? Makeup? I don't think I need any of that. Hello? Let's talk to you. Aggie. OMG, like, hi. Welcome to the, like, the body shop or whatever. Hi, well, I just need some ordinary shampoo. Anything is fine, really. Anything? Um, yeah. Great. We only have three shampoos left, which is superb since you'll have any shampoo, right? Yeah. OMG, great. No one has bought them in, like, years or something. I don't know why. I think they're great. You can choose between Gusto Greasy Gramps, Scott's Saucy Shamo, the Poo, what? And Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Tongue face. I don't know what the fuck I want here. Gusto Greasy Gramps, Scott's Saucy Shamo, the Poo, or Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Why, why are they, why are these, these names? Dude, are we in a Bed Bath & Beyond? Uh, God, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'd be basic and get the strawberry one, but I'm kind of curious what she would say if, like, I picked uh, the Scots. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the Scots. Ah, oh, Scots saucy shamo the poo. Great choice. Hmm. You seem unsure of buying it. All right, you can try it out for free in the public shower that we have in the back. What? There's a... Come back here after you're done. Uh, dude, do I have... What? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'll take the shampoo. I can test out the product. Do, do, there's a, there is a public shower. Is this normal? I don't think that's normal, is it? Don't, don't drop it. It's shampoo. Dude, what if somebody walks in here? Oh my god. No curtains? Either? No curtains? Bro? Okay. Try out Scott's Saucy Shamo the Poo. Sure. Yeah. The shampoo smells like shit, but in a good way. <laughs> oh no. I've never felt this dirty while taking a shower before. Oh no. But I've already committed to this one. I guess this is what I'll smell like the next couple of weeks. You could change out the shampoo. I smell like shit. No. No. Bro. I want to smell like strawberries now. Give me, give me my basic strawberry. You scam me. Bitch. What? So, what you think? Are you going to buy it? I guess finally. I mean, great. That'll be nine ninety nine. Can I give her like one cent? It doesn't let me. Hey, you want to You want a sixty nine thousand dollars too? Here you go, sixty nine hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm surprised that you're out shopping this late. We barely get any customers at this time of the day because of. The disappearances. Ooh. The only one that's been here today are you and some creep that looked at me through the glass window while you were showering. Meh. That doesn't matter really. Just be careful out there for me. It's not safe being out at this time. Okay, Aggie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I like Aggie. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back for the other shampoo. Don't don't you worry. I'm gonna get myself the strawberry one. <laughs> okay. All right. How, where's how? Oh, it got scary. It got really scary. What the fuck happened to the atmosphere? It was looking at you while I was showering. I had to go to the toy store for a toy. I had to go to the toy store for a toy. The chocolate. I had to get chocolates and toys at the toy store. Printer paper, flowers, and fresh meat from the slaughterhouse. Wow. That's a shopping list, alright. Why couldn't we just drive there? Like, 
and just park nearby instead of having to... Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Is somebody here? Stranger? Hey, if you're gonna kill me, just fucking kill me. Do it already, please. Like, don't, don't play this much. Makes me nervous as hell. Timmy's toys. Ew, I don't like that. Does not come. Does not ring well. I I just hope somebody spilled their ketchup. All right. Somebody probably spilled their ketchup. Oh, why is this so weird in here too? Amusements. These are toys. That's all you got. No access. What kind of a place is this? It, they don't have chocolate, do they? Hey, I need chocolate and a toy. Hi, Timmy. Uh, hey. Huh. How can I help you? Well, I was looking for something cute to put in my new apartment. You got any toys or stuffed animals you could recommend? I'd also like a chocolate bar. Chocolate? Hmm. Let me take a look in these boxes. Meanwhile, you could do something for me. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can. If you want my help, you better help me back. Time's been real busy lately. <sighs> Alright, what do you want me to do? Why can't I just pay him? You know that amusement sign by the entrance? It's supposed to be glowing, but the wires are all messed up. So I want you to check him out. Fine. I don't like his taste in music. It's pretty bad. Kinda creepy. Kinda weird. Kinda creepy. Wait, how do I check? Oh, right here? What the fuck is this? Uh. Oh, wait a second. Like that? What is happening here? <laughs> what is happening here? Bye. Oh my god, I can't stop thinking about Aggie. Okay. Yeah, this is just another uh, a wire puzzle of some sorts. Probably shouldn't be too hard. Uh... Oh, that was easy. Okay, not bad. Hey, give me my chocolate bar. Wow. Hmm. You actually managed to rewire it? Yeah. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's your stuff. Thanks. Hey, I have a quick, I have a quick question. Everyone I've talked to today has warned me about the dangers of being out at this time. Is it really that dangerous for me to be out right now? Don't listen to them. People don't like when new people come into this town, so they just try to scare them away with the usual reason. There's a killer on the loose, blah blah blah. It's just proper bullshit. Just ignore them and move on. Alright, bye now. Go on, get. <laughs> get. Okay. I'm not a fan of the background music. What if he's the killer? What if it's Timmy? Well, I got my toy and chocolate. Now I gotta get printer paper. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. That's definitely not weird. You know, for a shopping district, the streets are poorly lit. They are very poorly lit. I feel like that's a that's an issue I have to bring up with like City Hall or some shit. I heard that. I heard that. Hey guys, did you know something? I have a run button. Apparently, I can run. So, uh, that doesn't make me feel any any better about whatever the fuck is happening right now. I heard that shit too, man. You better stay away from me. You better stay away. You know what? How about, we, how about I pull up? I have a shopping list and everything. Fuck you up. The shopping list. 
I'm not a coward. I mean, unless he has a gun, then I can't do anything, but if he has anything else, then I might be okay. Maybe. I'm, I'm a fairly confident guy. Yeah, where is everybody? Shouldn't it be busy and shit? Where, where's the, where's the civilians? A rose? This bring back, this brings back memories. I can't believe my first name is Sho and my last name is Toe. <laughs> oh no, mom! I'm going to miss you. I love you, Mom. Oh, that was the... That was the flashback. And that was a silly flashback. But... F? F in the chat for his mom, I guess. For my mom? Mr. Toe's mom? Am I Mr. Toe? They call me Mr. Toe. <laughs> Don't I need flowers? Can I just grab that flower and just call it a day? The tech store should be close by. Yeah, I hope so. I fucking hope so. We've been walking around here for a while and it's been real damn creepy. I swear to God, there's somebody tailing us right now, but we just can't see it that well because my, my brightness is down. Like the game intended. Oh, the tech store. Okay. Hello. I'm here. Do you have the PS5 in stock? This is a sad tech store. What the? No access? Wait. It just looks like an Apple store. Huh? What is this? Who's that? A mannequin? Activate Android. Sound really creepy, man. Ah, uh, okay, Carl. Fucking Carl, man. Oh my god. That noise that he was making? Ugh. Nah, man. I'm not about that, but okay. Order printer paper. Laptop? Wait, I can order more stuff? A TV? I can order a TV and printer paper, too? I get like a deal, like a bundle deal? Sure. Uh, do, do I keep it up? Do I just keep sending them $69,000? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here you go. $6,900. Amen complete. Poggers, give me my printer paper. All right. I hope I don't have to talk to you again. Uh, Carl. Maybe there's something back here that I don't know about, like, before I leave. Okay, time to get out of here. $2.99 or a TV. I didn't buy a TV, I bought a printer paper. Almost finished. Okay, so I need flowers now. Oh, I guess a bouquet of flowers? A bouquet? Oh, what's back here? Dude, there's so many creepy little divots inside these like buildings. I don't know. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what's that noise? What's that noise? Why, why the, why is it the, the fucking music change? Do I really have to go down the alley? Oh. The alleyway for this? Ah! Fucker! Oh my god, get over here. Get over here. Get over here. 
Coward. Fucking coward. Wow. Run away like a pussy. Get over get back here, coward. You wanna you wanna mess with me? I have chocolate and toy and 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 printer paper I can beat you up with and milk. You're not gonna like it when I cover you with musty milk and and Scott's shamo the poo. Oh, he's gonna hate that. Dude, I have some pretty good weapons at my disposal, honestly. I don't think he stands a chance if I use everything. <laughs> Maybe that's the that's the the gimmick. Like I have to use what I buy to to defeat the, the killer later. If he's still around, that is. Where are you at? Where, where are you at, huh? Okay. Ashton Garcia, reward 1200. Please find my little boy. Huh. Ashton Garcia. That's weird. So what was the other missing person poster that was in the dumpster? This place seems off. Yeah, no shit, Shoto. Shoto? It's not looking too hot. I think uh, we got to wrap up our shopping trip soon. Closed road. Huh? No access? Vault? Dude, I've done this before. A while back, when me, me and my friends wanted to go out to like uh, to an arcade and we were come back home, right? The trolleys and stuff or were closed and we had to like hop the thingy because there was nobody like to take our money. There was nobody in the booth. Huh? That boy, that was when I was like super young though. It was when I was a kid. And there's nobody there. What did you want us to do? It was either, okay. Would you rather like walk all the way back home and that would probably take like an hour or two hours or just hop the thingy and wait for the trolley. Cause like there was nobody in the booth to take our money. So we didn't know what to do and we got scared and it was like, ah. Also, who the fuck was that guy inside the pickup truck? Is that the weirdo? Mildred's Marigold is a, Marigolds? The door is locked. It should be open. The answer is probably... Oh, the owner is probably taking a break or something. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. It should be open. I have a feeling this is the owner's bicycle. And she must be in the store. Unless she's dead. I just knock, I guess. Yeah, please. Can we, can we get inside the flower shop already? Hello? Ha! Get the fuck out of here! Okay, Mildred. Leave my family the fuck alone. Take whatever you want, just don't hurt us. I just want flowers. I'll just grab this rose then. Yeah. I just wanted to pay for your flowers, but... Okay, okay bye, Mildred. Kind of rude. Dead person? What do you mean dead? I don't think they're... I don't know if she's dead. I think that was an actual person. He's probably scared of somebody out here. Oh, come on. I'll end up soaking wet before I get to the town's butcher. Hey. Hi! What are you doing out here in the pouring rain at this time? Uh... Not taking rides from strangers. I can take you where you're headed. Just get in the car and I'll take you to wherever... Um... I could do with some company. Ooh, I think I'd rather... Do I accept the ride? Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> oh, accept the ride? Hmm... Uh, what if they're a genuinely nice person, right? Shoto, don't do it. Do it. 
I don't know. Sure, let's trust the stranger. I guess that's fair. Hop on in. Oh boy, oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? What have I gotten myself into? Oh shit. Uh oh. Hey, wait a minute, Ruben! Wait a sec, it's the officer. You're that goofy motherfucker from before. Oh my god, I can trust you. Oh, what's up, Ruben? <laughs> Wait, how do you know my name? From your ID? Oops. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Anyway, so where are you heading? Uh, I'm heading to the butcher down by the community park. Splendid. Well then, let's get a move on. Didn't you just call me a fuckface earlier or something like that? Are you off duty? Wait, this doesn't even look like a police car. It's just around the corner, so it'll be a short drive. Okay, thanks, Ruben. See, guys, I could totally trust them. Hold tab for a back dash cam view. Why would I need a dash cam view? Oh, that's... Hey, Ruben, uh, I think somebody's f following us. Hey, Ruben? Ruben. Hey, hey, my boy. My guy, Ruben. Ruben. N not to alarm you or anything, but but there's a... Th we got a... Somebody. A but on your ass. Ruben. Ruben. R R Ruben. Ruben. I'm scared, Ruben. I'm scared. Ruben? Oh, oh, we're here. Well, here we are. Usually I charge for rides like this, but I'll spare you from the payment. Anyways, I guess I'll see you around. Oh, thanks, Ruben. Have a good one. Maybe, maybe he's in on it right now. Big, big crackhead theory. Ruben's in on this shit. He dropped me off at like the, the trap location, right? And now the dude's gonna wait to pounce from all the way down there. The whole town's in on it. That's why they're like, the disappearances oh, or some shit. Dude, the journey of Mr. Toe is about to come to an end, I swear. I think something's up. Something bad's gonna happen to Mr. Toe. Poor, poor show Toe. First name show, last name Toe. He was like a father to me. And now he's gonna die. Okay. I'm gonna go check what's inside here. What's up? What the fuck is up, man? Lucas! Hello and welcome to Bastard Butchery. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. Have a look around. We have all kinds of meat. Ooh, what kind of meat? Meat? Me by the counter if you need help making your mind. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, I see what you're doing there, Lucas. Okay. I like your music taste. It's better than Timmy's. Why is your meat so huge, though? Like, on this... What the fuck? It looks like magnified. Okay. Examine the meat. Yeah. I can smell how rotten is through the glass. Really? Oh, shit. I mean, do we really have a choice? Hey, Lucas, your meat's shit. Have you made up your mind? Not really. I was hoping to ask you for a recommendation. Oh, well, personally... <laughs> oh! oh! What the hell? The power never goes out in this area. I'm busy as fuck. I don't have time to replace fuses, goddammit. Hey. Yeah? I'll I'll give you the meat for free if you go back in my storage room and replace the fuses. It's such dude, I'm walking into a trap! I love some spare ones scattered around some shelves. Yeah, sure, I can do that. 
All right, cool. I'll wait here. You're not doing shit. Here's a flashlight if it gets dark in there. He's literally just standing here. What? You'll need three fuses. Once that is done, you just need to flip the switch by the fuse box. Thanks for the help. Sure, no problem, man. No problem, Lucas. You sick son of a bitch. I can't believe you're gonna set me up like this, Lucas, and we just met. We shared meat puns. You gave me a meat pun and you're, this is how you're gonna treat me? Fuses remaining. Here we are. Why does it say fuse? Why is it so ominous like that for like somebody's back here? That's one fuse. Hey, there's no killers back here, right? It's just, it's just Shotal. I'm just your friendly neighborhood rogue. Friendly neighborhood rogue boy. Just trying to finish his shopping list. And I need some meat from the butchers. You wouldn't hurt a little guy like me, right? Please? Don't, don't hurt me. Dude, I am not feeling real comfortable. This storage room is massive for the size of his shop. Wow, that's a lot of meat. Wow, that's a lot of blood. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Why is there so much meat blood here? Or is this actual blood? I can't tell. Like, human blood. Is that human blood? It looked like good meat, though. Now, now I kind of want steak. Is that fucked up? Like I'm craving steak right now. Somebody better not be back here. Or so help me, I will cry. Wait, what is this? Oh, fuse. I should check that bottle first. Sure, examine bottle. This brings back memories. That is a huge bottle. Wait, what, dude, that's the size of my thigh. What? How could I ever forget? Dad. Dad? You monstrous fuck. You selfish drunk. Mom never did you any harm. Neither did I. Both you and I know mom killed herself because of you. You ruined everything, you alcoholic fuck. Wow. I never want to see or hear from you again. I don't want to associate with you one bit. Fuck me. I even lie about my name to move on from you. Shoto? What the fuck is that even? <laughs> Rather than having to carry the name you gave me. Claire. Oh! I'm Claire? I didn't even tell my friends my real name. What? I help you rot in hell, dad. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I I'm a girl? Oops. Well, shit, I guess Claire Toe? No. <laughs> uh, I don't know, the jig is up, guys. Yeah, I guess that's my real name. I'm a not actually Shoto, I'm Claire. <laughs> my name's Claire. So, how's it going, guildies? Mm. Yeah, I'm Claire. I work at the... I work at the Sears, downtown. <laughs> Wait. Wait, where am I supposed to put the fuse in? Where's the fuse box? Okay. Surely nothing bad will happen as soon as I pull the lever and look behind me, right? Wow. Hey, we're good! What? Nothing bad happened. The fuck? So it wasn't a trap? Hey, Lucas. Lucas! Holy fuck. Ah. Uh, well. Um, hey, nice to meet you, Lucas. Ah. Uh. I think I gotta leave. 
I don't... I don't know what happened to Lucas. While I was in the back. Oh man, poor Lucas. Does this, does this mean I can't finish my shopping list? What about my meat? Like, I got a shopping list to finish. No? No meat? Can I just grab something before I go? I love how it's called bastard butchery. I have to call the police. <gasps> Ruben! Wait, what does that say? Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Somebody's inside that. Somebody's inside the, the shed. I'm calling it right now. Somebody's inside that shed. Fuck, man. No signal. The phone lost connection. What? Ah! I need to hide. I, uh, I need to fucking hide all right. I don't know what the hell that was. Turn off my flashlight. Avoid the light. Really? I'm hiding in the shed? I think this is a terrible idea, by the way. Like, we just locked ourselves into... a bad spot. I have to get to my car. I have to sneak into one of these buildings and exit through the back without making too much noise. Yeah, why did it get so loud though? Oh my god. I had to make my way to the opposite side of the building. Yeah. There's no reception. Bro, what what happened to everybody that's supposed to be in the building? Call elevator. This ain't, this ain't such a fun shopping trip anymore. I was having a lot of fun. Now it feels, it feels so sketch. I mean, we're being chased down by a killer, so yeah, it, it makes sense. Like, it would feel this way, but still. Maybe we can find something to use in the storage room. Yeah, maybe, or maybe I'm gonna die. Gun, any guns? Child's note. Dad told me to hide here in the storage room. I don't know why he is so panicked. I hope he'll be back soon. It's cold in here. That's not helpful. Wait, is that us? What if this is all in our head? Like, what if this... Oh, shit. It's him. It's him? How do you find me? I can't go back now. The basement? Nah, dude, we're gonna go down to the basement. We're go we're going to exactly where he wants us to go. I'll go down to the basement. Fuck. Dude, I can I just go back to Timmy's and in the the, sh the shopping store and the the Bed Bath and Beyond from earlier, please. I don't want to be down here anymore. This sucks. This sucks. I miss my shampoo. I miss the valley girl that I was talking to at the counter. Ah, oh, damn it. Huh? Oh 
Oh my god. I recognize these people. How? They've moved into the city to work at this company. And they were the only ones that had night shifts. That's convenient. Now they're dead. With a toy knife left on the crime scene? I need to get the fuck out of here. A toy knife? Where's the toy knife? I don't think we should spend some time looking around. We gotta get out before he catches our asses. Is the guy from the toy shop? Wait, really? That Wait, that's Timmy? Wait, that was Timmy? That was Timmy? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, Timmy. Inspect map. Trees, lamppost, map stand. This is a... The same area where I entered this place from. Huh? I never noticed the gas station on the map. I must have missed it while I was walking into the town. My car shouldn't be too far away from the gas station. I should check if anyone's working there in the convenience store. Oh, we're going to the convenience store now, huh? I need to call all the cops and I might be able to get some gas for the car too. I just have to follow the path up and then walk into the woods. Gas station should be on the other side. Can I just walk across the street? No, it doesn't let me walk across the street. L. Yo, I hope Ruben's okay. What about Ruben? My boy Ruben. There should be a path I can take into the woods at the end of this hallway. Okay, that's because that's a much better idea to just walk into the woods, right? Right, guys? We're gonna walk into the woods? Oh my god. Wow! Great idea, Claire! Great idea, Claire! We're truly fucked. I just want to say that real quick, though. We, I feel like every decision this protagonist is making makes you want to cry. Also, I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. Just so it's not, like, too blaringly loud. Because it's pretty loud. Yeah, um... I feel like going through the woods right now... Not the best idea. That was pretty quick. Okay, maybe maybe she was on something. Sorry, my bad, Claire. I heard that. Here we are. Okay. Hello, anybody in the gas station convenience store? I need some I need some Swedish fish and and then 911 call. Anybody here? Hi. What's your name? Oh, Jot Jake Forster. Oh, thank God. I need your help right fucking now. There's this guy following me, and I've seen dead bodies anywhere. I'm freaking out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Hold your horses there, Bucky. What's your name? <laughs> Claire Shoto. Wait, what does that matter? Should I lie? Should I lie about my name? <clears throat> I think I should, uh, I think I should lie about it, yeah. <clears throat> Shoto. <clears throat> right then. What can I do for ya? Whoa, why did his face change for a sec? I need you to call the police right now. I'm being stalked by a killer as we speak. HA! Nice try there, buddy. I know that y'all people are just trying to scare us outsiders, cause y'all don't like the newcomers in this town. Why am I giving you a David Kun voice? This is not a fucking joke. There's literal evidence all over this place. And I I'm an outsider. Really? Yes! Well, if you're so confident, then prove it. Take this camera and photograph one single piece of evidence. <gasps> you asshole! 
show me the photo when you get back. You are such an asshole. You want to take a photo of the evidence? You're not even going to believe me? You know, fuck you. Press tab to enter camera. Enter camera mode. Take a photo. Okay. So I have to go back? <laughs> they want me to go back? Oh, shit, man. Oh, no. I don't want to have to go back. I think I saw a missing poster by the right sidewalk. Okay, so it's close by. Man, I hope this is worth it. Hope this is fucking worth it. Hugo Davis, 75 years old. I hope Jake isn't dead. Or I hope Jake isn't like the killer. Dude, this feels really damn creepy. I'm like genuinely scared now. For like the game for what it is, it's silly, but I'm actually pretty scared. Did a pretty good job. Jake, why is the lights off, Jake? Hello, Jake. Here's I believe you. I believe you. I have called the police already. I saw him by the window. You need to leave right now. If you need anything, just grab it and get out. I need to refuel my car. Can I get a jerry can or something like that? Yeah, sure. You can fill it up by the pumps outside. Please be careful. He looks really sad. And Looks really fucking... Uh, dude, are you gonna... I think he's gonna die. You're just gonna stay here? And accept death? What's that noise, by the way? Okay, bye, Jake. Don't, don't die, alright? Careful. Can I even make it back to my car in time? Before this guy finds me? I never knew this was called a jerry can, by the way. I just called it a gasoline canister. I had to follow the path behind the gas station to get to my car. Yeah, who calls it a jerry can, huh? The path behind the gas station, where is that? Jake from State Farm. <laughs> So am I supposed to go this way? Maybe it's this way, yeah. Instead of the other other side. You know the music? It feels more depressing than anything. Who's that? <gasps> Ruben? No! Ruben! Oh no! Dude, rest in peace, Reuben, and your fat cake. Oh shit. F in the chat for Reuben, man. That sucks. Is that my car? Oh god, I'm not liking what's about to happen to my to my booty. This this dude's probably breathing down my neck as we speak. What if he's inside my car? He's in. He had. Dude, he's gonna pull a closing shift on us. They're gonna be inside my car. I know it. I've seen the. I've seen this kind of situation before. Can't trick me. Oh no! The creepers in the backseat of my car, <laughs> or he's in the trunk. I don't know. Hey guys, this is why you always check the check the back. Always check the back. Why is my car slowing down? <laughs> if I fucking die. My tires have been slashed. Why? I'm really close to my apartment though, so I should just be able to drive the last bit. Oh 
my tires got slashed. Okay. While I was driving? Or did I just notice that, like... Did I notice that, like... <laughs> midway through the drive, what? Or, like... I didn't even see my tires slashed when I got into, like, before I got into the car? That's odd. Oh, I made it back home! Oh, shit. Okay, lock the doors. Make cereal. Fuck yeah, I can do that. Wait, does that mean we're safe? Yo, I got the good ending. Trouble got the good ending? Maybe? I'm safe. Now I get to sit in my chair, watch some uh, late night TV, and eat my chocolate, chocolate breakfast number one cereal. Okay. With my musty milk. Wait! She pours the cereal after the milk? What? Oh no, this ain't me. No, that's not me. Oh, fuck. That's the that's the biggest that, that that's the climax of the game. The true horror. She's a milk first kind of person. Take a shower. Hey, your doors are locked, right? Right, Claire? That's my bed. I guess it's not it's not much, but it'll do. I don't like the fact that your porch is open. How about we close this shit before like somebody sneaks in? So yeah, where's the showers? Over here. Cereal first. Okay, how about this? How about this? How many people in chat actually put the milk first? I really want to know. There's no way that many people do that first. It's just a joke, right? It's literally just for the meme. You're, 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 you're just joshing me, bro. Yeah. I honestly don't know what to say. If you do that, then okay. Have fun. Wasting bowl space. I guess. Turn on the news. Yeah, no one's in my house, right? Are you hiding in my fridge? Under my bed? Turn on the news, sure. Police officer Ruben has been confirmed dead. He was earlier this evening found by the gas station near Community Park with three stab wounds in the chest and two by the neck. The police have searched the area but have not found any more evidence to who could be the murderer. Five stab wounds? Three stab wounds to the chest and two to the neck. Well, we're safe, right? Because he didn't follow us home or anything. Uh, I think we should just go to bed, Claire. Oh, you're not going to let me go to bed? You're going to want to go check the door? Fine. You want to be a dumbass and get yourself killed? Go ahead. We could just totally ignore whoever's at the door. But no, you choose to walk up and answer it. Because you're a dumbass. Can I at least look through the peephole? Wait, no one's there. No one's there. Ah! Motherfuck! What? You're just like your mother. Goodbye, Claire. Dad? Dad? I'm ashamed to call my father. Huh? After everything he did to my mom. And doing it all without a care in the world. My dad was the killer? What? He didn't give a shit about anyone. Then he started drinking. He started doing drugs which made him lose hair. And after mom's death and after non-stop abuse, I took dad's car and drove off. After a few years of therapy, I could handle the trauma, and I even forgot about those memories. Dad hated me. He used to explain in great detail how much he hated my guts after mom's death. And after his drug abuse, he looked 40 years older. I barely even recognized him in that toy store. <gasps> Wait! He moved into this city before me? 
and took out his stress on the locals. Wait, he was Timmy? But he never got caught. He was Timmy. He was Timmy and he killed us? No what? what I, feel for you. I can't believe this. This entire time. This entire time. What a fucking plot twist, dude. What? That really pulled on my cock. Okay. Damn. Wow. Oh, look. He did everything. <laughs> the same guy. The Jordan dude. Jordan? Jordan? Ah, man. Dad, some random dude. <laughs> okay. I like how Dad was just some random dude. Ah, <sighs> this was based on my mother's fear of being stalked while shopping. Oh, so he he made this game based on his mother's uh own. I don't know. Paranoia with that stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool. I hope this music isn't DMCA'd, by the way. I really hope it's not DMCA'd. <laughs> hey, Twitch, uh, audio jungle, audio jungle. Oh. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Okay, I think we're fine. The shopping list. Wow, what a game. What a weird game. <laughs> Yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We're going to move on to number two. Our second game for the night. It's called uh, After Midnight. It's about not letting a man inside your house. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fuck. This fucking game is wild, dude. All right. Yeah. So After Midnight, I think, yeah, that's all it is. It's like there's a home intruder. It's about a home intruder. After midnight. Two kinds of after midnights. Now let me get out of that. After midnight, where are you at? Where are you at? <gasps> Why does it sound like sex music? What? Bruh. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Wow, looks kind of crazy. I guess that's our killer. New game, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I don't have the ability to even continue from... Valorant? Someone said Valorant. <laughs> what do you mean Valorant, huh? Wait, did it sound like Valo music to you guys? Okay. I like how they kind of open these uh, these games with like a very 90s-esque credits, you know, type of deal. Like it feels it feels so old school, but it's I'm I'm down for it. Okay, hello. Who am I? Am I a... Uh, am I a kid? Am I a dad? Am I a mom? Oh, this is my room. It's a very... Dude, this is a tiny ass room. I don't think I've ever had a room this small before, but at least you have your own bathroom. Lights. Yeah, this feels odd. I don't think... It feels more like a closet, but hey, you make do, right? The lights. Am I really living here by myself? Wait, where's my... Where's my family? Huh? No family? No family? No bitches? Either? Where is, where is everyone? 
Bro, this feels weird. You have the living room on the second floor. Huh? What's that? Wait. Oh. Isn't that... That's a creepy photo. Hold on. Let me turn on the lights. Who drew this? Was that me? Or is that like uh, somebody else? Now, get, this is giving me like Fierce to Fathom vibes too. Am I laggy? Camera style. Wait. I can choose camera styles? Horror. Oh! I can choose different camera styles. Hold on, wait. Let me turn off VSync. Maybe that'll help. That help? <laughs> no, I'm still a little bit laggy there. That's weird. Not very, not very well optimized then. That's probably why. Hmm, that's okay. It's a bit dark. I think that's the point, though. New SMS from mommy. Brad, don't go to bed too late. Oh, okay, so I have parents. Remember to lock the doors. Don't worry, mom, I'll be fine. I'm Brad. <laughs> Bradley? Dinner is on the oven. Don't open the door to anyone else. All right, thanks, mom. What you make for dinner, huh? Now I'm going back to work. I love you, son. Until tomorrow. I love you, mom. Wow, that's a healthy relationship. I have, uh, I have a mom and everything. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, I love my, I love my mom. Apparently. Hmm. Now she said there's dinner inside of the oven or whatever. But where's that? This is the laundry room. That door's locked. Hmm. Oven? The kitchen, perhaps? Can I turn on the lights? Oh! Oh, it's, oh it just flies. I thought, those were, I thought that was uh, cockroaches or something. We got apples, sun kiss. Damn. Cheese? Your fridge is kind of loaded. Good for you. That's what you like to see. A well-stocked fridge. Spaghetti? Wait, spaghetti in the oven? Oh, b b this is spoiled. Better throw it in the trash. Good thing I'm not hungry. Aww. Aww. Mom's cooking got spoiled. F. I feel bad now. Um. But why do you bake spaghetti? I don't think people bake spaghetti, do they? This door's locked. Is there a point to locking the store, by the way? Okay. Hmm. Is this door locked? No, it's... It's, a, um, yeah, it is locked. Alright, well... I'll just go back upstairs. I don't want to sleep yet. I'm going to watch a movie. Huh. Okay, sure then. Let's watch a movie. TV? Tape? <gasps> I see you. Hey. What, what, what are you doing outside my house? Huh? Already? Why me? Hey, I see you, bitch. I think that means you gotta go to a different house because there's people at home. Right? Oh, I don't like that. I've never seen... Dude, I, I hope one one of these days, like, I never live to see some random stranger just standing outside my house like that. That's so creepy. Is he just gonna sit there? Can I, can I tell him to fuck off? Mm, I'm alone? I know I'm alone. I, I don't care the... F I, like, I'm, I gotta, like, put on the uh, the act as if, you know, there's people here, though, besides me. You know, like, hey, gotta pretend to talk to somebody, you know? Like, oh, hey, hey, dad. Haha. <laughs> or like, oh, hey, sis. How's it going, bro? Are we gonna go check that out downstairs? What's up? 
Is that the drawing? Yeah, he's still there. Hmm. Hello, little boy. Who is it? How do you have my number? How does he have my number? Ew! I'm a friend. Your nights will be special. Leave me alone. My dad is a police officer and he's here. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Pretend. Yeah, yeah. Good tactic. You don't have a father, Brad. You are all alone. And after midnight, I'll meet you. I don't think he should even be responding to this guy. Just call the police, man. Please leave me alone. Uh-oh. What time is it right now? He's gone. Wait, the dude's gone. Uh, hey, hey kid, how about, yo, here's a concept. How about we call the police instead of t talking to the, the weird man in your text messages and just tell him, and just tell him, hey, someone's at, uh, someone's outside my house. I don't feel safe. 11.40. He said after midnight he's gonna come in. Uh-oh. What, what do I do? I locked my doors. Shit. I'll see if the doors are locked. Yeah, they are locked. I just unlocked the doors. Okay, doors, that door's locked. And the back door's locked, all right? <gasps> Damn, I'm getting paranoid. Yeah, me too, man. This is uh, not looking so hot. Can we call the police? Ain't that crazy how we could just call the authorities to help us out, but you refuse to do that? Man, maybe I don't blame you. Maybe you were never taught how to do that. I don't know how old this dude is. <laughs> I mean, you have a phone. Locked doors. I think I'll get some sleep. Yeah, okay. Good job. Yeah, go get some sleep, kid. Asanya, thank you for the 50 tier ones. Thank you. We should sure thank uh, more people after stream. Close my door. Turn off my light. And sleep. Hmm. I don't think... Wait, is it a good idea I want to sleep while the killer is like waiting outside my house? That seems kind of ignorant of me to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who could have rang the bell at this time of night? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the creepy-ass guy that was messaging you earlier. It's 12 a.m. Do we really want to check what's sit down there? Have we even called the police yet? Nobody? Very strange. Yeah, you know, it is pretty strange, isn't it? Midnight. Yeah? And? Is he outside? Ah! Oh, not now. I need my flashlight, which is in my room. flashlight hey kid can we call the police bad time to run out of energy huh bad time for you to stop and 
Shut the fuck up. Listen, I'm nervous right now. I don't I don't understand what I'm supposed to do against this guy. This can only be a joke. Sh shut up! Stop! 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 stop. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. SMS from mommy. Mommy? Brad, the power went out in the entire city. Is everything okay? Mom, I'm so scared. I received some unknown messages. If you lock the doors, don't worry. It must be someone playing a prank. It's all locked up, Mom, but I saw someone hanging around our house. Oh, she gonna call the police? Please? Mommy? Call the police? Now oh, there's this weirdo. Don't uh, even think about leaving the house. Mom needs to get back to work. Alright, I'll be fine, but no police? No? No police? I just go back to sleep? What if I go outside? What do you guys think? Should I just should I just leave? Get out the go out the door? Huh? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun idea? Don't? I'm very sleepy, but I won't sleep in this darkness. I mean, we, we kind of can't do anything about that, Brad. We have to, unless you want to go fix the, the the light fuse box itself. Do we have a fuse box? I don't know. Oh, so thank you guys for the little nine uh, hype train. Thank you. Mwah. Nothing inside the drawers. Are you sure we can't just go go to bed, man? No sleep. Do I just hide? Wait, the energy's back. Oh, cool. Wait, but does that mean... I prefer no lights. I like the dark. Okay. Well. I like it better if you weren't being a creep. Sticking around my house. Can you please leave? Where is he anyways? Like, I don't even see this guy. I'm glad he stopped uh, responding to the messages, though. That's good. Like, smart choice, kid. No one's out there, right? Good, good. Keep it that way. How about we just block the number? Hey, hey, Brad. Brad. Let's let's block the fucking number. How about that? Better idea, right? Now can I go back to sleep? Because it's uh the lights are back. Oh my fucking god! What? Do you not go to sleep? I'm waiting for you to sleep. No, I'm going to sleep. That crazy man be damned. Wow, he told you to go to sleep. I'm waiting for you because then you're gonna go to sleep. Okay, fine. Do it then. Great idea. Great fucking idea, Brad. Oh my god. <laughs> this feels so dumb. Are we gonna wake up to the guy like banging on the door? Or like inside our room? Please no. Maybe I made a mistake. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, wake up. Looks like someone broke the back door glass. Shit, shit, shit. Are we gonna check it? Dude, you wanna check that out? Uh, not a- uh, Oh, fuck, man. The hangar scared me. Oh, shit. That scared me. Oh, there's no way he could have gone inside from that. I'm inside your house. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. 
No. No, you're not. What are you talking about? Oh my god, who's at the door? Wait, that's the same guy? You're not inside my house, loser. Ew. Talk. Good night, child. Sorry to knock on your door so late at night. Uh-huh. Who are... Yeah? Who are you? Are you the one trying to scare me? This is probably the same dude. Look goofy as hell outside. He tried to break in through the back, but I think he couldn't because, you know, these, uh, these doors have those, uh, bars or whatever. Scare you? Oh no, my car broke down around the corner. I need help. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Come on, boy. I just need to go in and use your phone. Are you home alone? What kind of weirdo asked that question? My father's here. He's sleeping, but I'm sorry, but I really can't help. Please, boy. Let me in. It's very cold in here. I'm all wet. Who the hell would let him in? No! No! Get the fuck out! I can't help. Please go away. Yeah, that's right. Leave. Walk away. Walk away. Silly. Is he gonna go through the back? I don't know if he's gonna go through the... No, he actually walked away. Wow. It sounds like you don't like helping people. It was the same weirdo. Oh no, not again. I need to keep the doors locked. Uh oh. It's locked. Yeah, all the doors are locked. Oh my god, uh, uh, this is not looking so hot for us, and we still haven't called the police yet, have we? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Brad? Don't you think it's now's about time we call the police and have them help us? Oh, is this door? No, that's not broken. Wait, why did that look broken to me? Hey, let's go to bed. Mom? Brad, answer me. It's urgent. Hi, Mom. What, what happened? Yeah, what the fuck happened? The mirror called me and said that he saw someone coming into the house. I'm alone here, Mommy. Someone broke the glass in the back door. Oh, shit. Wait, he's in? How? The neighbor called the police. If anything happens, hide under the bed. All right, Mom. Don't worry. Okay, well, just hide under the bed, right? Like, like mom said. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. He's like, he's not going to find us underneath the bed. What? This, this is so dumb. Like, if you're hiding under the bed, you're you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Like, what kind of... Everybody checks under the bed. I don't know, I would have hidden in one of the cardboard boxes. Stab his ankles. <laughs> if I had a knife, yeah. The flashlight. Oh my god. Get out from under the bed or stay hidden. 
Oh my god, I don't know. If I stay down here, he's he's gonna find me eventually, right? I I don't think so. I think I gotta run. God, guys, I think I gotta run. Stay under the bed. Get out from under the bed. Uh. I think I got, I'm gonna leave. Think about this. He's gonna keep looking around the house and he's eventually going to find me, right? Maybe while he's distracted, I can leave the house. It might be a bit riskier though. I'm going to leave. Ah. Oh my god, please. Oh, oh shit. Wait, huh? How old the assassin noticed the arrival of the police and ran away. You survived. Hey, yo, that's pretty good. That's good, right? Except. Oh, wait, hold on. What would have what would have happened if we stayed under the bed then? I'm not gonna lie, for some I thought we were totally gonna die there if I left the bed. So, I'm kind of confused how that ended up the way it did. Yeah, we got the good ending? Is that the good ending? Was that. Alright. Cool. Do you wanna try again? Oh uh, no, I'm okay with that ending. I think I wanna move on to the. Uh, the next one but i don't know can i continue does it let me continue and like redo it oh it does oh it does let me do it again okay sure let's see yeah you're gonna be a weirdo wait what if i let him in oh what if i let him in oh good i'll open the door and you can come in Yeah, what happens if I let the dude inside? The phone is next to it. I'll go upstairs to the bathroom to get you a towel. Hmm. Okay, and then I go get a towel. Now where are you at? You still at the phone, sir? Sir? I brought the towel. Sir? Yeah, wait, where'd you go? Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, kind of saw that coming, right? I saw that shit coming. Never let weirdos into your houses, guys. I'm just doing this for the curiosity factor about what happens. I think we're just dead. Hmm. What if we just go outside? Yeah. I have the towel and everything. I guess. Uh... Hello? No? Yeah, he just got up and disappeared. Sir? Sir. He's under my bed. What well, if he's inside the... Oh, no, he's not there either. In the backyard? Nope, he's not back here either. What? That door's locked. Wait, just kidding? I'm inside your house just kidding. What? I think... Yeah, let's go check my bedroom. The closet! He's inside the closet. Hmm. 
Hmm. I just left the door open. Exactly. That was the point. So, okay. I'm a bit confused because now... Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, I know he's a stalker, but like, where the fuck is he? I let him into the house on purpose. You let me in. Smiley face. Oh. I didn't check everywhere inside the house. Hi. Ah! You opened the door to a stranger and paid a high price for it. The white-faced killer forgives no one. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess that's what's gonna happen if we leave the bed, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty sure he's just going to kill us if we just leave. Okay. I want to move on to the next game now. Because, uh... Hey, fun fact. My phone has 19% left. I don't know how, but it means we're on a timer. Which is kind of unlucky. So, I'm going to move on to the next game. It's called Stigmatized Property. It's a Chila's art game. So, hold on. Let me switch to that. Sigma. Stigma. Stigma? Stigma. <laughs> Stigmatized property. Alright, so let me open up this bad boy too. This game is long? What do you mean it's long? This is long? Are you sure? I thought it was short. I thought it was like only like half an hour. Are you sure about that? Hmm. <clears throat> I should charge in an outlet, not with my PC. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? I think we should be fine, but, uh... <laughs> if I need... If all... If I need to, then I will, I will likely, uh, charge it, but I'm not sure if it's necessary, so, yeah, we're just gonna wait and see, alright? We're just gonna wait and see. Okie dokie. Ugh! Sorry, my, my, like, my back is, like, sore as hell. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me get rid of all this stuff. We don't need that. Oh. He suddenly invited me to his house. I wonder why. I need a back rub. Yeah, I need a back rub, all right. Please. Are you offering? Thank you. I don't have a flashlight. Awesome. It was this. Hello? 10 yen. I got 10 yen. Nice. Is it that easy to just find... I hope this is the right way. That easy to find change, just sitting on the, on the side. What's back here? Hello? Pray in front of the shrine. Yeah. Sure. I'll pray in front of the shrine. I don't know why I prayed in front of the shrine, but sure. Don't you guys do that when you, uh, when you walk home from school too? Hello? Cat? Or thing? Oh, oh, kitty, dude. What happened? Ow. How's that even possible, by the way? Like, there's no cars that come by through here, right? 
it doesn't seem like there's any cars that come through. So how did the cat die? Yeah, who killed who killed the cat? Asshole. I don't kill the cat. That's mean. Also, Alto, thank you for the 25. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Fish. So that's where the smell was coming from. The fish? He told me to be in the apartment room 104. Apartment room 104. Hmm. That's odd. I see a crumpled paper in one of the slots. It says it costs 100 yen. I need to find some change. Oh. Well, there's 50 yen right there. 100 yen for some crumpled up piece of paper. Wow. Awesome. The subtitle on what she says is really different. Really? It's that different? Well, I mean, I wouldn't, uh, English translation, probably not the best, right? That's all I can say. Maybe that's, it's not gonna be, like, too accurate. I, I, hearing people walking around brings, like, a sense of comfort, but at the same time, I'm a little afraid, because it's like, huh? Is that something I need to worry about? Knock the door. Hello? There really is no one. I can't just wait outside. I need to get in. Didn't he say there's a spare key somewhere? I forgot where though. Spare key! Perhaps I can enter from here. The window? Yeah, just climb into- Dude, we're tall enough. It should be under the lemon tree pot. Oh, the key? Nice. Boyfriend? You're visiting a boyfriend? Friend? I don't know. How about- Dude, we could just slide in through- Like, we're tall enough, right? Are we tall enough? Like, this isn't- this is where my head is. My arms are probably taller. We just like slide in. That easy. It's so easy. These doors are closed too. She could be a stalker. I don't think... <laughs> Emma, I don't think I'm a stalker. I think I'm just visiting. What's this? Hmm. I think I see something stuck inside the hole. Is there gonna be more hair? Perhaps? Like, more long hair coming through the hole? Wow, this room looks really good for an apartment. Honestly? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, we don't have a reflection. Oh yeah, vampires. Vampires, baby. The last seven pages are torn. That's strange. Yeah, that is strange. Wonder why. Hmm. Vampires? Yeah. You know, the ones that bite your neck and drink blood and shit. You ever do that? Oh? I have a weapon? I'm gonna bonk. The guildies with this? Get over here. Get the fuck over here, guildies. I'm gonna bonk, 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 bonk. Is this for this? Or... Hold on. I have it now. I just don't know what I'm supposed to use it for. Windows? Curtains? Hmm? Oh. The hole? Stick in the hole? Oh, you're right. You stick in the hole. I got paper. Look through the hole. This is kind of weird, isn't it? Like, does that mean somebody can stare at us from the other side too? Like a peeping Tom? Yeah, I'll close the door now. I think that's... that's fine. 
I think the paper is for, yeah, paper is for this thingy. April 4th. Mo moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone, and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I've always dreamed of it. I decided to move here because the rent's very cheap, and honestly, I can't believe that the broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm going to miss those faces. They told me that they're going to be here for only a couple days, and they kept telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. I don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to do just fine. Hmm. Okay. Parents be like disappointed at what? I don't... I don't think they're disappointed. I mean, maybe they're like, kind of like... Oh, don't leave the house. You can save your money and live with us instead. Oh. You know, you have parents like that? They're just... That don't want you to leave the house. And think it's better to just save money. Some, you have some parents that just want to kick you out of the house. And other parents, like, want to keep you in the house and don't let you leave. So... Oh, the paper is wet. I need to find a way to dry it. Hmm. This thingy? Use the dryer. Okay. Well, I got my dry piece of paper. Now what? Journal? Today I took the whole day to just setting everything up in the room. It used to be a room with a small luggage and a simple bed, now it became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whooping queen-size bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. That seemed to like this house so badly, he'd said he'd like to stay a little longer, but as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live a life already. And the owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face and told me how grateful he was someone to finally rent the room. But he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go. That was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. We gotta get ready. Haunted? Yeah! No shit! No shit! This place is probably haunted. What? That's sus. These donuts are haunted. These chairs are haunted. The bed's haunted. You're haunted. The hole is haunted. Look through the hole. Yeah, I'm gonna look inside the hole. Wait, what? Why is it not let me look in through the hole? Huh? Yeah, I think, uh... Was it the hole? There should be something in there. You. What's up? It's a crow. It's another fucking crow. What's with all the crows lately? Or is that a raven? I don't know. Is it easy for you guys to tell the difference between a crow and a, and a raven? Because I can't really tell. Bad sign. I mean, maybe he's a friend. Hello? Old man? Old man, you good? Kaka, shut up, stop. It didn't even kaka. It's just sitting there, chilling. The crow had paper. Yeah, I think if I give him the fish or the cat. What if I gave him the cat? I don't think- I don't think the crow could take a cat, right? Not the cat. <laughs> yeah, let's do the fish. Maybe the- maybe he'll like the fish more. Here you go. You want a fish? Oh! Okay, thank you. Not even a- not even a- a hi, or what's up, bro? Fuck you, crow. 
We could have been friends. I'd, I'm not afraid of crows. We need to stop. Stop with these lies, guys. Okay? Stop with the lies. It's not... It's not a fear. Okay? Hey. Hey, man. Hey, remember. It's a typo. It was a typo. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They want to come see my no new apartment, but I don't know better. Uh, but I don't know. They better not fuck anything up. Alright. Mashima Sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher she is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. The guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies crossed the street, gathered and talked bad about this apartment. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. That is true. Old ladies do love to gossip. I always see it. My grandma is guilty of this too. Wait, what's this? Was it just mine? Now my grandma's a gossip. Her friends are gossips. My aunties are gossips. Everybody's a gossip. Hmm. It's always about something stupid. Like, I, I sometimes just like, randomly, I remember one time when I was younger, my auntie came up to me, right? And then, oh, oh, what the fuck? Why am I on top of the counter? He was like, Roto, hey, did you hear your, your, uh, your auntie, your auntie on the other side of the family? You got really fat. And I'm like, and then it's, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I don't even I don't even remember her. This is dumb. One's walking over there too. Okay, well. Kinda lost. Oh what is this? Oh there's just more money. <laughs> more money? More problems? Isn't this his mother's car? It's locked. Mama's car? Damn, we're gonna be rich soon. Yeah, we're at 70 yen. Fuck yeah. Dude, we can almost afford... Afford a drink. Like maybe a bag of, uh, small bag of chips from the vending machine too. Isn't that awesome? Hello? Are you okay? Why is he just standing there? Huh. Apartment memo. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to contact the contractor trying to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes ill. And I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on my walls, but they can all they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on the wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month, and the chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from this world and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares and the strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone, please help me. That's... definitely not spooky. Bring human. <laughs> I mean... The the spirits are very direct, you know. They're very very direct about what they want. Bring human. <laughs> the talismans, though, on side is it? Is this everything on his wall? Those are talismans, right? Yeah. What happened to the old man, though? Is he okay? Maybe the thing took his soul because he couldn't sell the thing in a week or something? I'm not sure. Maybe the old man's dead too. Or part of the plan. I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. It's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right mom? But you know what mom? I don't think that works here. 
because I got the cold shoulders from them. When I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes and without a word from his mouth, he shut the door on me. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. I shouldn't be too rude. I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looks like the girl in Shibaki Bara, 89 in my class. Her name's Mira, and I like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single, ready to mingle. How lucky. I'm excited for tomorrow. Wow. Is that me? Am I Mira? Who says that anymore? Single, ready to mingle. What the fuck? It feels like such a 2000s thing to say. Even then, it felt cringe, but whatever. Oh, there's a crumpled up piece of paper in here. Thank you. Hmm. Mom came over to my room again. I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with dad again. Her passive aggressive attitude got me to ask. Got me so I asked how dad was doing. She refused to talk about it and instead just sat there quietly. I'd never seen her face like this before and she would usually put on a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that but it wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I could invite my old time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it, and Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mirachan in my mind right now, though. Hmm. But that smile. Her eyes weren't smiling. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Also, hold on. Give me a second. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. Oh my god. I mean, she's depressed? Or is she like, maybe she knows what's happening. Maybe she knows. I'm not sure. Hold on. Give me a quick second. Okay. And there's another donut over there. Wait. Was that donut always on the on the couch? Okay. I'm gonna go take a quick look. Uh, I still have to get the crumpled paper from that vending machine. Vi, I think it wants me to go and look around for like more yen. Cause I only have, I'm 30 yen off. No! Wait, the cat. What happened to the cat? Cat? take the you guys take the cat hello <laughs> thanks for the money I I guess you know what I'm guessing here's my theory here's my little theory those people that we just saw, they're like the, uh, the souls of the people that got forgotten who were previous tenants of the, uh, of the apartment. That's my wild guess. I don't know if that's going to be true or not, but. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that's what's happening. What about this vending machine? Wait, what's that back there? Huh? It says that there's something in the back. But the light is still. Hold on, wait, let me bring up the brightness a bit. Is something back here? Hello? Oh, it's the shrine. Sure, I'll pray. Let's 
see. Let me check back here. Nothing back here either. It's so dark, man. Why is it so dark? I mean, it's the dead of night, but like, it's gonna make it hard to find my coins. I have 20 more yen to find. How am I gonna find 20 more yen for it? No? No more yen? You would live there if you if someone paid you enough. You would live here and get spirited away into like nothing. You know, I feel like that's a common theme I've been noticing in a lot of these kinds of games that we've been playing. Is like people that die or people that are involved some, with some kind of spiritual thing ends up getting spirited away. And they don't, uh, you know, people don't remember who you are and they don't remember like your name or your existence in life. And I think that's kind of sad. I see that a lot with a lot of these like Japanese uh, horror games though. It's like, it's a common theme. It seems like, oh, hello? Hi. I kind of saw that coming. That's another 10 yen. Uh... You didn't even want to say hi. Was this the neighbor with the cat-like eyes that the diary is talking about? He did a loud fart and disappeared. <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. I still can't get inside this uh, this car. Oh, is this more money? Oh no, it's a key. What's oh, the car key? More paper, but no money. I need 10 more yen for something. Yeah, that's a, it's a really cool theme because I think it's a common, st I've seen it in like Corpse Party. I've seen it in this, these games, right? A lot of these games, like, I guess it's like a big fear to, be forgotten like huh and nobody even remembers you oh, to go through the hole oh is this like the other realm that we're looking at right now Uh, I mean, if this is it, you know, it could have been like that Undertale prank when uh, Sans made you look through the telescope and then you had a, you know, a red circle on your eye. I thought that was pretty funny, but no, I didn't, didn't want to be like that. There's a mirror right here. <laughs> Wait, it moved. Is this not enough of a sign? Somebody fucked with the chairs! And the furniture. It's all over the place now. Huh? Bruh? I don't think Mira. I think we should probably leave. Just get the fuck out. Instead of like investigating this. But that's just me. April 9th. I was able to talk to Mira-chan today. What a great day. Except for one thing. Mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here, and it was odd for her to leave without noticing. I hope Dad picked her up or something because the car's still there. I invited Sayaka today and said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. Hmm. I think we're going to be the next sacrifice. Mirachan sounds sus. I think everybody sounds sus to you guys. Okay, there's my 100 yen. Thank you. I wonder what happened to the cat, though. The cat, though? The cat, though? What about the cat, though? The kitty cat. I miss the kitty cat. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. I'll call him later. I need to get home. 
you read through all of that and you're like, mm, I'll just call him later and experience all this bullshit that happened throughout. Is that old man still there? No, he's not even there anymore. Dude. Dude. Look through. Huh? Wait. Was that his family? <laughs> oh my! Oh, I got scared by old people. I can't believe <laughs> the end result possessed. Okay. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Really? Really? <laughs> that was that was the result of a Regis got possessed. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. You jumped? Oh yeah, me too, dude. It, it wasn't that scary though. It was just more like startling. It wasn't... If anything... Okay, that was good because like, like lore-wise and story-wise, I like the concept, but hey, they could flesh it out more. They can flush it out more. I have done this before um, and got the good ending, but I think this time I got the bad one to see what the bad one was like. Not that much different, but good ending gives you more context into what's going on, I think. But still, I do like these short horrors, though, but I uh, and it's really it's always really fun. I just want uh, I want more. Yeah, it's like they set it. So they set it up so good. And it's like you're kind of like teasing my balls, man. I need more of it, please. Mm. All right, and that was stigmatized property. I think we do have time for the fourth game. Then, actually, it's called Mists of Aiden or Aiden Aiden. Mists of Aiden. So let me pull that up. Yeah, this one might be a little bit longer. I don't know if we'll finish it, but I want to, you know, get a taste of it tonight before um, we hop off and just see how it goes. Well, let me put the volume down a bit. Okay, last game for today. Whew. Yeah, those ones were really, really, really quick. I thought shopping list was going to be a bit longer too and after midnight, but yeah, they were uh, quite short and that's okay. Um, that's why we do these things. I like uh, short palpable horror games like that. So I can like, I don't know, explore what indie devs have to offer. Right. And, uh, what was it? Shopping list was pretty fun. I think it was like, what? Only $1 or was that after midnight? I don't know. One of them was only like $2 or something like that, but Hey, support your small creators, right? Mm. Have I played Mr. Hops before? No, I haven't. Your save files will be lost. Wait, I have a save file? Wait, huh? Hey, do you hear me? Good. I don't... Hi, this is Frankie. Are you ready for our new job? I think the I know. okay, whatever. I know. You are not a fan of rush work, but our payment will be quite good. And your family needs money, so well, we can make an exception. Okay, your job is simple. Owner has left the city, so you can get into the house, find a trinket and get out. That's it. My job is to guide you through this so you can avoid every possible problem. Do you understand? Money. Okay. Excellent. Let's get you ready. There was a camera near your headphone. Attach it to your shirt. When I heard his voice, I thought about child for a second. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I don't now know I why. The room. Not bad. Okay. You also need a flashlight. It's in a garage behind the next door. Why? I don't know. It kind of has like a similar uh, tone, but it's not. It's it's still different. It's just like, it's like an essence of him there. Especially when he said, "Not bad." Hmm. Inventory's empty. Well, I have a bunny here. It reminds me of the bunny I gave to Minase. Yeah, what is this game okay, ab about? Okay, turned off the light. If 
find a flashlight and just wander around here. Get used to working in the dark. This is a cheap and bright flashlight. Well, the flashlight is new, so you don't have to constantly look for batteries. <laughs> <laughs> like last time. Turn it on. Check out how it works. Wow, this is such a Caucasian family photo. <laughs> Cute baby. Turn it on. Turn what on? Wait, turn what on? What do you say? I wasn't paying attention. Turn it on already. Turn what on? You? You want me to turn you on? There's only <laughs> one button. Push it. Your what? What button? Your button? G spot? A. Very funny. Push the button. What button are you talking about? I'm confused. Uh, I'll just wait. Oh my god. He's so mean. You're so impatient, bro. It's a simple and reliable tool. Okay. Great. Now the nippers. They hang on a stand on the wall. Good. Now, oh. inside the house, you'll find an alarm system. It's an old one, but I want to be sure you'll be ready. Find the wire cutters and the screwdriver, and I'll show you what to do next. Screwdriver is in one of the upper cabinets. Yes, sir. I, I got my screwdriver. The tool stand should be on the wall, to the right of the door. Yes, wire sir. Cutters are there. Okay. I found There's the pliers. There's a training fuse box to the right of the gate. It's almost a perfect copy of a real alarm system. And now you're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn off the alarm system. There what the fuck is, is this? My Plastic box. Your masterpiece. Open it. I need to see what's inside on the camera. Dude, this is just cardboard. What? Dude, Wait Griff. A second. Uh, I have a problem with the picture. Aha! Here it is. Grab the cutters and carefully cut the blue wire. Don't touch the white one. Do you get it? I'll repeat. Cut the blue wire. Cut the blue wire. Oh. So you can follow basic instructions. <laughs> I got tr I, I got a flashback to something I, okay. I remember from a while now ago. Time to move. <laughs> get into your car and I'll tell you where to go. I got a flashback to a very dark time in my life when he said that. Okay, we're fine now. Well, yeah, I know I know colors, guys. Don't worry about it. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I, I like uh, I like narrator Griffin Burns in my ear. It's it's quite lovely. Mm. I can follow basic instructions. Yes, yes, I can, sir. All right. Oh boy, what the fuck? Where are we? What is this place? A graveyard? Nice place, don't you think? If I were rich, I'd live here too. Thanks, Griffin Burns. There's a lot of pricey stuff there. Pay no attention to them. We only have one evening to find our goal. A piece of jewelry called the Heart of Fog. The Heart only of Fog. One attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. Okay. So we're robbers. We're, we're on a mission to steal jewelry. We're, we're like the phantom thieves of the knights, and you gotta go into the house and, the and right take their hearts. You'll find a fuse box. This is the alarm system. I'm gonna steal their hearts and their jewelry and their snacks and their hot Cheetos. We have an electronic lock here. The system is a bit more complicated than our training fuse box, mm -hmm. but the base principle is the same. Just cut the blue wire and you can go in. Just cut the blue wire. Easy peasy, right? Huh? Hey, hey Griffin. Griffin Burns, I don't I don't see a blue wire here. It's a gray, green, white, and and red wire. But I don't cut the red one, so I, uh is this the blue wire? Maybe it's just the lighting. Blue wire! Blue! Ah! Cut everything! Ah! There's no blue wire, bitch! Okay. Good. Whew. I checked the line. There was no signal to the police. Move on. You suck at instructions! Okay. Oh. The door is open. Get in. Oh my god, I'm gonna slap you when we get back. You know, hey, hey Griffin, you wanna go out to, uh, you wanna go out to Red Lobster after this? Get some Cheddar Bay Biscuits after we steal that piece of jewelry and sell it at the pawn shop. Let's play this fast and clean. Mm -hmm. You enter, you take what we need, and then you leave. This thing is on the ground floor inside the office. Move quietly, 
Be careful, and no one will ever know that you were here. First, find the kitchen. If my blueprints are correct, you need to go through it to get to the office. Find the kitchen. Okay. Easy enough. The former family of our bachelor. Hey. The young family. Like the husband yours. is tense. I'm not implying anything. The wife is afraid. Wife knew this guy. <laughs> maybe my wife knew him? So mad. Shut up. I have a wife? I have a wife? Who's my wife? What? Wife. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. God damn. Muscly men. No, that door is closed. Kind of looks like a Resident Evil door. Wow. Uh, what? Look at the right. There's a light behind the door. The right? We should probably go there. Oh, some chess pieces. Hey, Griffin, you want to play some chess? Cool. Oh wait, no, you're on my intercom. I don't think we can play chess. It's a little odd, because there, there's like nobody. Shouldn't there be people in this house? Or like we like... You notice that there's not a single knife in this kitchen? The man is too paranoid. Is he afraid that someone will get inside and kill him while he sleeps? There's a well, fork here. You are here, but anyway, he needs to lose some steam. Go to the dining room, and after it, you'll find a corridor. Uh, I don't want to alarm you, Griffin, but we got some blood on the knife block. I think somebody might have, unless it's wine stains. It could be wine stains, too. What is this? This is strange. The owner of the house has bought a bunch of building materials and signed his order with a fake name. That is kind of sus. Why would he need a fake name to order building materials for his own house? Oh God! What well, the? Shit! Okay, uh, it's okay. He probably just likes to make sausages or something like that. Uh, the owner is a hunter, so. Griffin, I don't think okay. we should be here. Griffin, I don't think we should be here. I think we gotta get the fuck out. Um, this is probably like spelling "get out" vibes. Like, get the fuck out of my house. Is this where it is? The jewelry's in here? The dogs are barking? Yeah, the owner probably forgot to clean before leaving. Noof, we must hurry. Yeah, it must be nice for you since you're just sitting away somewhere else far, far away. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, man. You wanna talk? You wanna talk? Yeah, I'll fucking talk. Good. Look for a study. Inside you'll find a safe. Focus on that. <sighs> oh, what the f is that a Unattended wolf pellet? <gasps> no. I guess that's better later. This home is gonna burn. Aw. This house is gonna burn after we rob it? Fuck man. We're gonna light it ablaze after we take their shit. Look What's at this? this shit. They have a VCR with a power cord that goes through the wall. Couldn't they make a normal socket? Wait, this is not a power cord. It's something else. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> I I can't even tell. Like, do I have to find V? Oh. Oh, they're playing Claire de Lune. Oh, that's kind of romantic. There's no VHS in the inventory. You hear that? It's Claire de Lune, right? Is it? Is it? Or is that? Or is it? Uh, hold on. What is it called? No, 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 no. It could be. It's either that or it's, um. What's it called? I know what it is. Someone said Zabussi. It's not Zabussi. What's the name of the song? I heard it from like Haruhi before. From the Haruhi movie. I just don't... I just don't remember. It sounds familiar. Yeah, but I can't tell what it is. It's good. It's a good piece though. I like it. I'm a fan. Wait. Oh, I thought... What? 
No. What? It's all right. Huh? Jump scaring me, man. Fuck you. Okay. I'm not saying clear to me what it's from Debussy. I'm talking about I'm talking about the, the the other one that this actual song is. This isn't clear. Fuck, man. I don't know. Do you hear music? Where is it coming from? Bedroom. Look around. Maybe you'll find something useful. Man, they have a lot of wolf pelts. Poor doggos. <gasps> the ring of his wife. Either she left him or just disappeared. I can't really remember. Looks cheap. Oh, this is where the music was coming from, the bedroom. A toilet? Didn't I tell you to Ooh. do your business before work? By the way, I'll be right back. Oh, is he going to the bathroom too? Oh, we're gonna be bathroom buddies. You're gonna go piss while I piss? That's kind of romantic. You know, it's kind of like when you go collab with another streamer, right? And they're like, okay, BRB, I gotta pee. And they're like, oh, I'm gonna go pee too. And then the other dude's like, okay, I'm gonna go pee too, right? And then we all go on the bathroom break. It's kind of, it's kind of cute. I found a key to the storeroom. I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> but why? Hey, Griffin, the power went out. Are you gonna come back anytime soon, Griffin? Griffin? Oh my God, uh-oh. There's a crow right there. Who are you? One of these days, I'm gonna own a house and I'm gonna put at the end of a very long hallway of a painting of an ominous man with a face like this just to scare my guests. Cause I think that'd be funny, right? Ha ha ha. Crow. There's so many crows today. It's just crow after crow. There's all crows everywhere. Crows and crows upon crows upon crows upon crows. Kaka, kaka, kaka. It's called, uh, the song is Janopity number two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Thank you. Hey, Griffin, you gotta come back from your piss break yet? Maybe he's taking a poo and didn't want to say it. Like, you know how those streamers are like, oh, BRB, I'm gonna go pee, guys, and then they take a suspiciously long time and they're like, oh, I promise I, I was just peeing, haha. -ha. But they were actually taking a poop and they were too embarrassed to say that, right? I mean, I would never do that because I always usually do my business before stream, but I would tell you guys if I was, uh, if I had to do my business, but like I haven't had to yet, I think. So we're, we're chill. Yeah. yeah. You can trust me, guys. <laughs> what? Thanks for that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm giving you like streamer knowledge. Oh, here's the storeroom. Hey, Griffin. I found the storeroom with a VHS tape, too. Nice. But no jewelry yet. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Calm down. It's just me. Your friendly inner voice. <laughs> What's up? Why is everything dark? The power went out, you dickhead. Okay, I think I have to watch the uh, the VHS tape now. See what's up. Yeah, put it inside. Let's watch this movie. Ah, watch a lovely movie with my guildies and hold their hands. Maybe share some popcorn, right? And then we'll uh, eventually, maybe like when we reach for the popcorn at the same time, our hands will touch, right? It'll be kind of romantic like that, and. What is this? This is really weird. I have a very bad feeling about this. Hmm. Yeah, that that was kind of odd. Don't know what that shit was about, but alright. 
I think watching the tapes help us open the door to go into the other room. So I think the door should be open now. Yeah, look at that. Door's open now and we can see what's inside. Yeah, Griffin. Okay, here is a study. Now you need to find a safe. Hey, Griffin, you like to bussy? Hmm. A former soldier. I heard he came back from service and metal. chemical burns. Maybe that's why his wife left. We are oh, he... not taking the metal. His wife left? She took the kids? No, she took the kids. Keep repeating to not forget. We've been married for seven years. I've served four of them. When I returned, she destroyed everything in three months, and I was left alone. Family of one. Seven, four, three, one. Hey, that's the safe combination, ain't it? In it. In it. That the safe combination? In it. Hold up. Where's the, where's the safe at, though? Hello? She did. She took the kids. Oh, no. She took the kids, guys. I can't believe it. Now we're, but where, where's the safe? I can't. I, I can't. I can't find the safe. Man, this guy is really into... What's it called? What's the art of, like, stuffing animals and shit? Like... Try looking behind the painting. Aw, thank you. You gave me a hint. Taxidermy. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes, here is where our trinket lies. The seven, Open the safe, four, grab it, and you can three, go home. one. Nice. Now grab this trinket and we can leave. Yeah, and we can leave. Yeah, totally. That's totally what's going to happen. We're going to be allowed to leave, right? It's very expensive. If I can sell it, all of our problems will go away. So far, so good. Nothing's here to kill us. How about we take the book, too? The book could have some useful information, right? Right, Griffin? Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good to me. Hey, hey, dear. Hey, dear. If this is a jump scare... If this is a jump scare, it's your fault. You you promise not it's not a jump scare, right? Okay. Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck it! What? What's happening? Hold your oh breath my God. and look for a way out! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Come on! There must be another way out! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, Wait, I'm dying! I'm dying! I'm dying! Dude, I'm oh my god, my arm hurts. My arm fucking hurts, dude. Don't that... breathe. Oh, Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> I'm gonna die, Griffin. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Leave! Now! I'm trying! <clears throat> god, dude. <laughs> Okay. No. There seems to be no gas here. Dude, my arm is gonna bruise from that. Holy shit, it hurt. I hit my forearm against against the side of the table when that happened. Oh shit. No. Oh. It's okay. Good. What was that? Come on, I need to get you out. Yeah, something's inside the house. Some weird creature. It's gonna be one of those Neither games. Was an extension, but I never thought it looked like this. What's its purpose? I don't really mm. know. I shouldn't. I, I'm not. I'm not trusting. Do not open the doors. Don't even come close to them. When all of it is over, I'll... What are you doing? Wait! Stop it! <laughs> Don't open the doors, me. Opens the doors. <laughs> Don't you hear the dogs? And the cats. Griffin!
Aw. Don't open the doors. What do you mean, don't Wait. open the doors? It could be a way out. Open the box. Let's see if we can open the door. <laughs> don't open the door, Shoto. Don't move. Let me see. What I push? What I push, Griffin? The fuses are down. Okay. Tell me. Not a big Help. Deal. Uh, this model uses standard fuses, so he made this extension by himself, right? Yeah, hurry the fuck Somewhere up. Somewhere here should be an electrical fuse box. You need to find it and take the fuses. Yes, that should work. So I don't touch anything. You know, it kind of sounds like the Minecraft dog noises when they get hit. Is it just me? Opens the door. Oh, that's a person. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah, maybe he was a bit of a hunter, like we said. He just likes to hunt for uh for his game. Uh, here is the box. Take out the fuse. Why would you hit the dogs in Minecraft? Uh, everyone's hit one at once at some point. Come on, everybody. I think it's fine. Don't worry. Just go to the door, insert the fuse into the panel and Not get out intentionally. Of not intentionally, by accident. Oh no, wait, that's the door with the lady. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's... Very, very bad. I think, I think you're right. We want to get the fuck out of here. I, no, no. That's fresh blood. It looks like fresh blood. Why'd I go in? I'm curious. I'm a very curious guy, guys. Can I let the dogs out now? No? I feel bad for them. They're just sitting in there. Whining like they want to be let out. Let him out. Let him out of there. <laughs> oh no, not again. Hey, are you okay? Listen to my voice. We must get out. Yeah, move the boxes, <laughs> idiot. Oh my god. Oh no! Run, run. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Is he really Yeah! Oh my god, yo, please, hey, can we, can we negotiate, can we please negotiate something? Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, no. Are you okay? What the Move. fuck? You must go! Oh shit, we still gotta Quiet. run? Quiet. Hey, sir, sir, can we please negotiate on the matter? You're still alive! You're still alive! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! That's bad. That's really really bad. There are live bodies in here. He wants to kill me. I don't know how I broke through the floor like that, but yeah, it's time. Uh, it's time we leave with our treasure. <gasps> stuck! Don't waste your time. Run! Oh my God! What the fuck, man? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Get your ankles broke. Here we go. Break some ankles here. Got to break some ankles here. <sighs> Close the door. The bolt on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, how did you know? Here almost. Wait, how did he know? I have an idea. Close the valve. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Did I do it? <clears throat> Wait, how did he know about the, the, the lock on the door? Okay? What? Thank God. Well, shit. 
Okay. Time to get out. Try to climb out the window. I want to talk about what we just heard there for a second. All right. I'm feeling a little bit suspicious of our friend here. Just not. Is it just me? Is it just me? Because how the fuck was he aware of like, quick, the lock on the door. Like, I didn't even see the lock and we just got into the room, but maybe it's implied we saw it already. Maybe I'm overthinking it. So I'll try not to let it get to me too much. It's just... <laughs> just odd let's get out get out please don't grab my legs don't grab my legs okay all right we got our we got our diamond we got the fuck out of the house now what we just leave just like that we just get the fuck out Okay, sure. <sighs> yeah. The kitchen wasn't a safe path. We probably could take the other path. What? Is it- why is it rewinding? Is it gonna make me do it all over again? Hold on. Wait, that's hey, weird. Hey, do you hear me? Why have you stopped? Anyway, so we need to find an old necklace. It lies somewhere in the master bedroom on the second floor. Be careful. You only have one attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Is this a new house? Wait, this is the same house. Bro, did I just like re-zero my shit backwards? It's time to start. I heard the owner hides his spare keys near the entrance. Wait, there's no lock here. Easy. They don't have a fuse locks. What? What? Oh, what? He hides the key near the entrance. Great. It'll be easier than I thought. Huh? What if he's like? What if he's playing a game? My blueprints. The master bedroom is on the second floor. Look for the stairs. And we're just the character in his game, right? He's like some kind of streamer. <laughs> Wait, but I'm the streamer, so does that mean I'm Griffin? Wait. Whoa. <laughs> the former family of our bachelor. You said that already. Hey, this kid looks just like yours. I'm not implying anything, but maybe your wife knew this guy. You said that already. <laughs> wow. Half of my house can fit in here. Or the whole of yours. You can even see the second floor. Okay. Mm. Moving on. You must find the stairs. That was weird. Yeah, this is really odd. I think we're going to the other side of the house now, but... This looks like a fake to me. Let's move. We came for a different thing. Didn't he say that we got the... We got the diamond from last time, so does that mean we're... Yo, anybody else I uh, confused right now? Cause... The master bedroom oh. is upstairs, on the second floor. You need to go up. I need to go up? But what if I go down? Down? I guess it's not a bad idea. Let's see what's in there. Why do you sound so close? Wait... Is this like the Stanley Parable type of shit? What is going on, man? Uh oh. Move All right. this thing aside. Why did they even put it here? He sounded so close. Did something glitch out? Oh man. Oh, that's kind of cool. There is a rare knife stored somewhere here. At least it is according to our client. You'll know it when you see it. Yeah, that's uh, honestly kind of wild to me, but I don't know if like, I'm overthinking this or not. Hmm. Stanley Parable, but it's a horror game. Yeah. Bunks? 
Why would someone need to leave bunks under a mansion? Is that an immigrant hideout or what? I'm really confused. It glitched a lot when we defied going upstairs and we said, no, I'm gonna go downstairs instead. These chess pieces look kind of strange. Maybe you can use them. Use them for what? Oh, am I supposed to organ? Oh, put in the hole? Do I put it in the hole? Like this? The knight? Shove it inside. Mmm, yeah. Alright, now what's this? Is this the... The rook? Is this the rook? No, this is the rook. Here we go. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. What is this? Which one is this? Okay, that's a... That's a... Which one's the king? Which one's the queen? Is this one the king? Bishop? Wrong? Oh, I did it right. So what are you waiting? The door is open. Move. Okay. Jesus, Griffin. Why is he is that on a my? Cave? Um, I, I don't feel well. Do you hear the whisper? This noise. What are we doing here? When did this game turn into Elden Ring? Huh? Yo, it it suddenly felt. It feels like more like a, a Souls-like game now. With this. What is this? Yeah, it looks like calcified material. And there's more like runic symbols on my on my screen. Like freaking out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. What kind of SCP shit? Same people, right? We do have a goal. We want to understand who was talking to us. Who is really saying all these lines? This is a natural curiosity. There is nothing unusual. Yeah, that was some kind of weird looking monster. It kind of looked like the lizard SCP. Like, 007. I don't remember which one it was, but... 975, maybe? I hear a female voice. She wanted to get her son back. She was lied to. Griffin's not okay. Griffin is not okay. I'm not okay either. I, it feels like I shouldn't even be in It feels like we're playing a different game now. Maybe I should go to that door. This place cannot exist. Do you hear me? This place is... This place is very important. I want to tell you something. Huh? I just... can't. All I can hear is this distracting thing. I'm losing my thoughts. Losing. Did I want to say something? Yeah, did you, did you want to say something, Griffin? What What's happening, Who buddy? Who these candles? Is anyone here? I think he's losing his mind more than I am. I kind of feel bad for him. More than I feel bad for my main character. <laughs> Griffin, hey, buddy, you're safe over there. You're just inside your car, giving us instructions while we look around, right? I was there to panic about, buddy. Oh, what's happening, Griffin? Bones. Bones? They belong to those who built this place. And those who came here later. I like how his name's not even Griffin, and we just decides to call him Griffin. Oh, that's bad! That's really bad! Let's take this crumpled note. I found this place, and it had everything to bring him back, at least. Temporarily, all pieces were in place, and I've been trying for a month, and it was all for nothing. Goats, rams, and pigs. We've butchered more than a dozen of animals, and nothing works. Heart, brain, and liver. I need to find another donor. Maybe my heart will be enough. 
Okay. I found a valve, a lever, a lever, a lever? Or what? What do I need the lever for? It looks like a valve. <laughs> sure. This door, these doors. Why are you guys so opposed to my British? What is wrong with you? You're making me feel self-conscious. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's not bad. There's no way it's that bad. You you say this like it's a you say it's like it's a negative thing. Guys, come on. It's a pretty good one, right? I do a pretty good job, I think. R right? <laughs> right, guys? Please? Please? Copium? C copium? Well, this thing fell down. Um, okay. Coffin still closed. Okay. You know, it feels like the catacombs. In a way, or at least it gives me like the the vibes of those at the catacombs. I've never been down there before, but have you guys have you guys ever wanted to visit the the catacombs underneath Paris and stuff? Like after all the stories and the movies and shit about like that, like I think it's possible to get lost down there, right? This is a quiet spot. There is a lot of room to rest. There's a lot of room. I noticed Griffin went British. I think he's been British. It just shows more times than others. That's what we are looking for. Pull the lever. That's what we're looking for. Pull the lever. Where's the lever? Oh, this one? I can't focus. I hear something constantly. There's someone here. Go back. Now! Oh! 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 He, ah! he is here. Wait! What do I do? What the fuck do I do, huh? You must. Ah! Wait! Is his cocoon. What is happening in this game? I thought we were just on a heist mission. Now we're waiting for their son. But he instead dude this game evolved so quickly we were just like we were just two bros chilling to find some jewelry to steal and then get the fuck out and now we're playing an entirely different game is a narrow slit i can enter a blade in here oh do i have a blade somewhere ah, knife he is thirsty Griffin, you could. Hey. Heart and the liver. They were his birthday presents. They keep him here. Exactly. They keep him here. I know what to do. every choice I make changes the game. I think it's like determined based on uh, where I enter from. Cause like I decided to go downstairs instead of upstairs and now I've been met with a different fate. This is his liver. He is here. Oh no. Oh no, he's fast. Faster, faster. Faster, faster. Look for the other parts. The brain, I got the brain. All right. Did that satisfy you, sir? Why did you get more British all of a sudden? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> you know, you guys are right. He got a lot more British than before. It's like it comes, it came through. Like at the start, it was very like American. Dude, it looks like the monster from Paranormal HK, right? Yeah, that that creepy, crawly thingy. I got the I got the brain. Liver. Now what? Ah! 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, 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 please fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. It looks exactly like it, doesn't it? Close. It looks kind of close. Huh? It's very close. Something. He's not British anymore. What is fucking going on? What is going on? What is this game? Dude, what is this game? God, we have to rewind all the way back, okay. Hey, hey, do you hear me? Yeah. Why have you stopped? Anyway, so we need to find an old necklace. It lies somewhere in the master bedroom on the second floor. Be careful. I did some scouting here. Check the main facade and you'll find a small window. It should be open. Get in and I'll tell you what to do next. Oh my God, what is happening? Yeah, it's like we keep going over and over and over and over again. Is it here? Right here? This window? Odd. It's quite odd, man. Ah. According to my blueprints, the master bedroom is on the second floor. Look for the stairs. Oh, we the store is uh doubly lit now. So does that mean like we have two more things to look for? Wow, half of my house can fit in here, or the whole of yours. You can even see the second floor. Okay, moving on. You must find the stairs. Is it over? What if I decide to go down to the kitchen again? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. It might repeat it, shouldn't it? It might repeat the exact same sequence of events, unless... You know what? Let's, let's, let's be... This is strange, but we don't need to go there, so forget it. What about down here? Oh, this is the kitchen again. What? The kitchen, this is downstairs and this is upstairs. All right, so we can go upstairs this time. Yeah, so it's missing chains now. Need to... Necklace. It belongs to an ex-wife of the... Start from the bedroom. Oh my god, Shit. wait, we're being watched. Where's the static coming from? Oh, I don't like that. Are we being watched? Or is that just like white paints that they decided to put in the eye? That is so creepy. I hate that so- What? It makes it look like they're watching us or like there's a camera behind it. You sure? You sure this is right, Griffin? Oh, hello there. Hmm? Looks antique. What do you think it's worth? Take a couple of shots. I want to see if it's working. Looks like an antique. An underdeveloped so, photo. Photo paper? Modern art is a very strange thing. Um, Griffin, you're not gonna believe this, but it seems like. Never mind. Hey, Griffin, you notice anything different about the, the, the paintings? No, just me? Just me, buddy? Okay. Oh, wait, it doesn't want to let me leave. It doesn't want to let me leave the room. Oh, that looks fine. What about these? Oh, lovely. Very lovely. I mean, if I take another photo of this, it'll keep decaying. No, it doesn't. Okay. Closed. We need to figure out how to get inside. 
It's a magic camera. Griffin. I didn't see it there. Or is it a glitch? Okay, uh, let's move on. Griffin, we got a magic camera. We gotta sell this bad boy. Magic you camera? Find and open the door to the master's bedroom. Every time I take a picture of a painting, it just ends up... It just ends up losing its soul. I've heard of a story like this one time. I don't know. It feels like it was a, a creepypasta or like some sort of urban legend, but like a camera that like steals your soul. Not sure if I'm remembering that correctly, but... It feels reminiscent of it. Hmm. Oh my god, who? Lisa? Wait. Lisa? From Resident Evil? No? Oh, we know from Sign Hill PT? Or was from. Resident Evil? What am I talking about? Shoto, you're mixing up your games. That was weird. Um. Should I take a picture over there? Hold on. Dude, maybe I should have taken a picture of her. What am I doing? Yeah, the door's not opening. That's fine. Nah, dude. Second floor is full of shit. This ain't happening right now. Fuck. What about you, pretty lady? Let me just take your soul too. That's a lot more terrifying than I thought it would be. Huh? Why'd your face turn like that? You better keep it that way. Oh. Okay, you know, that's why I kind of expected to happen to that lady's face, but no. Should be something on this table. Wait, the the VHS tape's not there. Hmm? This is a newspaper from six years ago. One of the articles is circled. It's about the disappearance of a famous artist and her son. And the name is Blood. And I can't read it. An artist and her son. Alright. Well, yeah, we don't have the VHS tape in here. Uh, someone took the... Oh, we have to take a picture of it! Right! Right! This is not happening. This is insane! No, it's happening, Griffin. Griffin Burns. It, it be happening, man. This is real. Right, time to watch another movie. Oh, that was weird. Recognized artist and photographer and her son. The search continues. We are still waiting for an official statement from the police representative. In the meantime, we express our condolences to the husband of Mrs. <laughs> I have some connection problems here. Okay, let's look in the other rooms. The necklace should be in the bedroom. That was weird, Griffin. Hey, I don't know if you saw that ghost from the picture or from the... Oh, fuck no. You gotta be kidding me. What? No. No.
No, I'm not going outside. Close the door. Close the door. Hey, no one's in here. I'm, I'm busy. I'm simply using the latrines. Oh wait, there's no bathroom in here. Oh, you you found me. You found me out. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you smiling, bitch? You're smiling? I'm not smiling. You think that's funny? Yeah, she still thinks it's funny. Oh. Hmm. I thought it was just going to be a mannequin outside. Like, pulling one of those mannequin tricks again. Usually seen in horror games. Fuck. Not a mannequin. Actual person. Trying to spook me. No, these have changed. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same right now. This door is open. Because that creepy ghost lady opened the door for us. Very nice of her, by the way. <clears throat> and she closed the door on us. Wow, she closed the door on us. Interestingly enough, the painting didn't change. Wow. Have you noticed the number of pictures? Someone was clearly interested in photography, or he wanted to capture something specific. Yeah, and I probably just took his camera, and you know what? He's probably mad pissed off at me, because I took off the camera. I took, took off with his camera. What was this? Wait, wait, am I, am I tripping? Did I just change the room from taking a picture of the mirror? Like it flipped. He is punished. Who is punished? The door is gone. Wait, the door is gone. Oh! What's inside the the chest? Hello? You need help? I don't know what to do to help you, man. It feels kind of like uh it reminds me of like Madison in a way, with the camera taking with the camera picture. Shenanigans. I think we shouldn't be here. I, we might want to leave and go back to the other room. What? Ah! Oh God, you bitch! Oh, I'm gonna kiss you on the forehead. Jeez. It's too late. What did she do to him? What did she do to him? We're in a very odd situation right now. There's a lot of laughing and crying. <gasps> I found a key. Man, yeah, that's the key for the uh, room nearby. As soon as we get back. I'll take that. Thank you. Remember, Shelto, your goal is to find the, the necklace and get the fuck out of here. Some way. Somehow. Nothing here. Okay, should leave now. Maybe take a picture of the mannequin. No? Alright. Goodbye. <laughs> we were back here. Hold up. This doll looks cold and lifeless. I took it with me? Nah? I, I did not consent to this. What? <laughs> what? I didn't want to take that. Are you kidding me? You should have just left it inside the chest. 
God damn it, bro. Oh, now you're over there. You're over there. <gasps> okay, little silly. Maybe I put him in here. No. Interesting. Yeah, what happened to our friend, Griffin? Griffin's been gone for a while now. It was the... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is trippy. Oh, this is so trippy. Huh? Griffin, Griffin, speak to me. Hey, buddy, what, what happened? Let me know you're still here. Friend? Griffin? Oh, Griffin. Hello. Hey, it's not funny. You're here with me, right, friend? He's not talking to me, guys. I... Bathroom. Wait, why we gotta be in the bathroom for? Sedatives. Sedatives? I knew that a child used to live here. Oh, you're still there. Why Thank God, buddy. Thing that was left of him? Where is his bedroom or toys? There must be at least something. Oh no. I am taking a poo. I just... I'm just taking a shit. I'm just taking a shit. I don't know where the bitch is. I wouldn't know. Wow, rude. Okay. Quite rude. Quite rude of you. Oh, what do British people say? That's proper rude, innit? That's proper rude, in it. <laughs> oh shit, man. Okay. There's something very strange going on here. Forget it. Forget the necklace. Just look for a way out. Forget the necklace. You want to pull out right now? I'm not pulling out. What's wrong with you? No. Shoto doesn't pull out. We're going to look for the necklace. I guess we don't have a choice. It's not letting us back inside the house. Griffin, Griffin, we went through all this bullshit. You can't stay here anymore. Jump over the balcony and get out of here. We can't stay here anymore, he says. How about... I just want to look and see what... What else is being drawn here? What is this? Or we could go back. We could go back inside. Oh my God. We found a way back inside. So we have two options here. We could leave the house and jump out. Or we could continue into the house, right? And look for the, the necklace. What should we do? I think we look for the necklace, right? Yeah, we don't pull out. Yeah, exactly. Like Not at all. If some artist or writer starts to tell you about the deep meaning of his work, do not believe him. There are only two things they can write about. It's themselves and their issues. This woman had a lot of issues. Okay, okay. Leave the house. I'm not leaving the house. I would rather look, look around. Oh, the door just opened. Wait, did the door just open? Shit. Damn. 
I have interference. I can't hear you. Um. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I think. Ah! Ah! No, dude. I think we have to kill it. If it come, it's something's coming for us, and we have to take a picture of it. Oh no. I I locked myself in, guys. I locked myself into this decision. Shit. It's not gonna let me leave. Well, like I said, we don't pull out, right? We don't pull out. Yeah, I know, I know. Is she over there? She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. <laughs> Grab the camera. Grab the fucking camera. Dumbass. Pick it up. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh wait, did the did this did it lag? Oh it lagged for a second. Oh it lagged for a second. Dude it, that happened at the worst time. Oh my god. Oh wait, it doesn't work anymore. What? Dude, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Oh shit, man. You got to be fucking with me. This is how we're going to do it now. Oh no shot, bro. What is that? What the fuck is that up there? That mannequin in particular does not make me happy. Really weird as hell. He's not gonna sneak up behind me, is she? Good doors, good doors, good doors. Fucker, that's such a cheap jump scare. That was such a cheap jump scare. Got me with. <sighs> what are with these three dollar jump scares, man? That just keep coming out one after another from my ass. Forgive me, mom. I will not cry anymore. Never come back, please. I'm really hungry. I'll eat everything you cook. I'm so sleepy, mom. Don't leave me. I want to eat. I want to eat. Eat. Mom doesn't love me anymore. Eat. Is this is this where the child stayed I hate it I hate it so much the door closed on us oh 
whole boss battle. You know, it kind of, this area kind of reminded me from Little Nightmares 1. It seems that the connection oh. is clear now. Are you okay? What was that? I don't know, Griffin. Maybe you were right. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back into the house, but hey, I did it. I, I killed her. I think. Oh, was that her spirit? Uh-oh. No, what are we getting ourselves into? They didn't find her. Oh, there's the necklace. Grab the necklace. I came here for this, right? Yeah, you did. We found what we were looking for. You saw what you wanted. Now you can leave, right? Good. And that's why they couldn't find her. Her body was just hidden in like a different room. And now we're going to rewind, aren't we? Oh, shit. Wow. Now this is interesting. <laughs> oh. Wow. Now what? Now wants me to go back inside, I bet. Yes, so many questions. I do too. We have an electronic lock here. The system is a bit more oh. Sam. Well, we must do it anyway. At Wait. We must try. Doors open. The doors open. Griffin. Wait. Oh! Oh fuck me. I got scared by the coat hanger. <laughs> Good job, Shuttle. Scared by the coat hanger. Congratulations. Okay. So there's three things uh, lit up on this door now. Ain't that ain't that a little suspicious? Gone through this house three times, and now that thing's lit up three times. Why is there a fire here? Was it a cleaning lady? Probably. She wouldn't be here at night. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Now what? Now what do you want me to do? Or there's you no change. Open it? Good. But are you sure that you want to go in? Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Well then, let's take a walk. His voice change. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is, who's it gonna be? <gasps> oh my God! What? Who's that? Griffin? What? You're sus! Who's it gonna be? What do you mean, who's it gonna be? Someone's gonna try to kill me? Don't think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. Am I being called out right now? Griffin, I thought we were buddies, and now you're- you're- Oh shit. I can't go back. Huh? Okay, okay. Looks good to me. That looks like an alien. Oh, that looks like a, a, a creepy pasta. Wait, can I take this with me? No, can't take the torch. Yeah, British Griffin is back. You know, there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. I'm quite lost right now. Maybe going here was a mistake. He's like, are you sure you want to go down there? Who are you, Griffin? Yeah, who's he to us? If I turn my back to the painting, he'll show me something different, no? Yeah, I missed the first one, where he was all like, all silly and sweet, but no. Now look at us. Am I actually trapped? I don't know what to do. And when it seems that there's nowhere to go, you'll take any way out. Oh, through, you mean through the vents? Hmm. 
Yeah, we stole a diamond. We, uh... <gasps> rat! Yo, it's a rat. You think I'm scared of a fucking rat? No. That has to be a painting. What is happening in this house? Why am I returning to it? You probably thought a lot about it. Or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Wait. Oh shit. Oh, we we gotta run. We gotta run. No! No! <laughs> ah! Calm down. You've already killed them. Keep going. I've prepared a small surprise. Just oh my god, he's so mean. He's so mean. You brought. Uh... Yeah, I don't trust Griffin anymore. There, there. He did something. He fucking. He's he's in our heads. Uh. Is this is this is all like some kind of prank, some sort of social experiment? Huh? Is that what this is? You haven't been here for a long time, haven't you? Every I... new job began with this car. What were you thinking when you went to that house? Was it I'm doing this for my family, or? This is the last one for sure. Well, well, for their sake. Your favorite thought, huh? They never asked you for this, but you were so sure that you stole only because of them. And Adrenaline Rush has nothing to do with it. There's only one thing you need to do before you leave. Let's check how well you remember things. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. Why is he telling me I cut the blue wire again? For what reason? Okay. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I got you. No problem. It was the easiest thing ever. You only had to cut the blue wire. If I cut both. How do you feel about that, Griffin? I cut both wires. That upset you? <laughs> what is going on? Like, why is he being the bunny? Do you really want to return to your family? Well, maybe you'll find a normal job. Eight hours a day, six days a week. You'll be reliable, consistent, boring. <laughs> no. You've always thought that you were too good for a regular job. I understand. You want to stay with your family. If you decide to abandon the job, I can't stop you. Just leave the earpiece and go. Oh, really? Hear about me Lovely. Anymore. Okay, awesome. I'll, I'd love to do that. Yeah, put put it down. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go to my family. I'll leave the earpiece. Goodbye. Later, bitch. I'm out. Just leave the earpiece and go, he said, right? Yep. Goodbye. See you, Griffin. <laughs> no! I was joking. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? Well, that isn't important. In any case, now you're with me. Oh. It couldn't be your fault. You just wanted me? You can't be wrong. The blue wire wasn't here in the first place. Why are you obsessed with the blue wire? Who gave you the wrong instructions. Huh? It couldn't be your fault. You are a good person after all. Dude, you just wanted this me? This can't be true. Damn, you could have just told me, bro. Instead of telling me to cut these blue wires and shit, you'd be... Playing. playing. You're playing. You're playing so much. You didn't have to do this. Is that you? Is that him? Oh my god. Hmm. Mm. I kind of want to... Oh, hi. Hi. You're not really that freaky anymore, but... Huh? What is going on, guys? Is going to rewind on me? Okay. Uh, okay. I was about to give him a kiss on the face. 
but I guess that's not happening. Police informed that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. It turned out to be a 23-year-old native of London by the name of The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed thief tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The oh. resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple Wait. and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. Was it me? The suspect claims that he is not guilty since he didn't know about the presence of the people in the home. Oh, was that After me? All, I it's killed his fault. Is it? Oh, because of the wire? I cut the wrong wire and I started a fire? Really? That's all it's it took. It's amazing what only a few sparks are capable of. Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. After all, who knows who these people were? Kids, abusers, monsters. Come on, come up with another reason why they should have died. You did it so well before. Let me give you a hint. Who is to blame? What are you imagining in your stories? The husband is guilty in the death of his wife. The wife killed her child. And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits. The husband killed the wife. The wife killed the child. Like that. Yeah, what? Man, I am I am so confused. I am so confused. Anybody else like what the fuck just happened? Everything. I think like part of this is like us. It's like a psychological horror. So part of us is like us facing our our trauma, our pain and trauma and like trying to like convince ourselves like these people were bad, right? So that's what I'm seeing right now because we were responsible for killing them for starting that fire because we want to steal their like treasures and shit. We ended up killing them and then we're trying to like, you know, come to terms with it by slowly gaslighting ourselves into thinking like, oh, they were probably terrible people anyways. They were capable of so much more and I, did, I didn't even know and it's just filling with delusions and shit. And that's why this is our journey through that entire... Oh, there's words on the floor. Hold on. I want to look at the person who killed me. Oh, it's the other way around. Who killed the father? The child looks at the mom, right? Because, uh... Wait! It's me! They, oh my god, they had to look at me. Fuck. So I had to aim at the center, and then I had to stand in the center. Jeez, man. An acceptance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think we had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. Is that it? It's a pity that acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them, and you will remember this. No matter what you will imagine next, we will be together. Forever. Oh, Griffin, you won't be able to stay there forever? Is that what's going on? He keeps making me redo this over and over again. And I'm stuck in this loop with him forever? Damn, okay. Hmm. So I can't leave. This is like my own personal hell. Griffin, hey, you want to talk again? Okay, that's odd. This demon thing wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I'm Griffin. I need to get distracted. I'm Griffin. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. He's talking to himself. He's the one that did it. That was my own voice. Lately, I can't get my childhood out of my head. I don't know why. Oh. Hmm. What is I this? I always knew who I would be when I grew up. My father took care of this. Director of the... Factory. Very powerful person. He had big plans. And some of them were on me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. He must wake up at five, then homework, then school. And in the evening... The real work. The real work? What's the real work? Murder? Oh! Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Nowhere to go, and because of that, again and again. Oh my god, alright. This is unexpected. I thought I had a friend. No, I was just that person the entire time. Dude, that's weird as hell. That's freaky as hell. Okay. But I found a way out. A way out? I found a way out? Where? How? How do I get the fuck out? Excuse me? Does it involve the access graduation head to the floor assistant director, director of the factory? I know those are, those are his goals, but... Hmm. At first, it didn't work out very oh, well. Go. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Letter from the publisher. An opportunity to leave. And at 18, on my birthday, I decided to do it. Apologies for a later reply, but I want time to myself and a, coll a colleague to read your work, The Grey Gentleman. Frankly, your style isn't quite polished yet. However, I've been intrigued by your talents for creating an atmosphere and maintaining a dark tone. I still have goosebumps from your gloomy descriptions of an alien slaughterhouse. Please reply to this email if you still want to work with us. I believe that our proposal might interest you. Regards, John Watcher, editor of the publishing house, Agatha. Hmm. Father what? was furious. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. But it's all in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. I found a special girl. That's what's important. We have hey, a girly. Baby. <laughs> we lived happily ever after. <laughs> Until. I'm never doing that again. Never doing that again. I felt wrong. Oh, hello. The safe op the safe door. Opened with a soft click. Here it is, the shining stone he was looking for. It's time to go home. Thief turned back to the door in frozen shock. There was a man in an opening. He didn't see his face. Just an old gas mask. Hmm. Alright. I've, I've digested enough of the story to understand... A little bit, mostly what's happening, but why are we in here exactly? Did I miss something? It's odd. This is odd. Letter on the desk. Wait, was that it? The crib? 
was in the crib. Let me go check. I didn't see anything inside the crib. I didn't even see a crib. See, this is why I have you guys. You guys, uh, you guys just have my back. And I'm, uh, I'm a little too blind to see everything at the house. The Royal London Hospital. Dr. M. Pierce. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mist, I'm so sorry to inform you that Oliver's condition is getting worse. Ryo Sigwa will facilitate his well-being and increase his quality of life, but it can't eliminate the heart cause of his heart problems. I highly recommend you give your consent to more radical methods of treatment as soon as possible. We've prepared a medication regime, uh, regimen, which has a chance to restore working of the heart back to normal. I doubt that surgery will be needed, but I have to warn you, it may be a possibility in the future. We'll discuss your son's treatment during your next visit. Sincerely, Dr. Matthew Pierce. Hmm. Each step up the stairs was marked by a lingering creak. A hatch in the ceiling has led him into the attic, a dark world that was deprived of all traces of sound and light. The only thing that could break the silence was the sound of an old camera, and the only thing that could help him to see was its broken camera flash. After a few long seconds, he was finally found a door. Another flash of the camera helped him to see. And they were here, motionless figures. For a moment, that was frozen in time. Hmm? We tried as best we could. It was all for nothing. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novel started to get rejected, and in time, our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough. But we had a chance. Oh my god, so many bills. Dude, all these bills. What the fuck? All these bills. Holy shit. Dude. Is he alright? The doctor says that he's stable. Hmm. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. How are you? Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? We are already in debt. They won't give us any more. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Nadine, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me and now he has plans for Oliver. He, he will break him. He is a monster. Aiden, I don't care who he is. I don't care even if he has horns and a tail. We're talking about our son right now. Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. No, I... I will sell the book, and we will solve everything. Aiden, your last work is still in your desk. Wait, he's the dad? The previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? The this then? is all that I have. I'm so confused now. You. This is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? <sighs> One month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me and I will do everything. One month. Hmm. So, we died? All three of us died in the fire? Then, then who was... Th I thought we were... Th then who... Huh? Yo, I'm I'm so confused. Who's the who who's the other guy, the detainee that they mentioned on the news that was responsible for burning down the house? That's not me, right? Are we gonna get to see? Aiden, like... are you okay? I will leave it all behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, no, no. I just need to proofread this thing. No, that does not matter. <sighs> Hello, Nadine. Oh, I could choose. I chose between, like, talking to her versus, like, committing to my work. And, like, oh my god. Okay. Odd. 
odd. <laughs> I I did not expect that game to have that much story involved in it. Did anybody else? Like, we were kind of just going through it. I was like, oh, it's time to just get wrecked by some ghosties and try to, like, figure out how to get this jewel or gem or whatever out of here. And then, damn, there was some, there's actually some plot. There was some big plot. So I think the ending I chose was because I opened the door and talked to her. I could have just continued proofreading my, my work in my books for my next book or whatever. And that probably would have like been the catalyst for like another ending. But me deciding to open the door and talk to my wife like implies that I, uh, I want to talk to my dad for help for the better of like, you know, my son's medical bill and all that stuff. So I think that's what it was. Uh, overall, that was pretty damn cool. I didn't expect it to be that interesting. Holy shit. Like, I think it got me with the first loop back to the beginning. Like, that was really where things kind of, like, took control, so. Yeah. Alright, let me go back to the bedroom real quick. Hold on. Give me a second. Hello. Hello, it's me. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, really fucking interesting game. Overall, I think, uh, which one was my favorite from today besides, like, that last one? I think I really like Shopping List. Shopping List was pretty fun. It was, like, fun horror. Comical at the beginning, right? But also slowly, like, crept up on you the gravity of, like, the situation. Your dad trying to, like, kill you. And he was the one that was the owner of that toy store, right? So, I like that a lot. Very nice. Very nice stream. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with all the games we played. I don't know about you guys. I enjoyed all of them. Ah, okay. Mm. Mm. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I actually just see that? Oh my god. Let's, I saw something. Let's just say I saw something I didn't expect to see on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, have um, I'm gonna read through um the uh some of the donos real quick. <laughs> uh, I'll tell. Thank you for the dono. Uh, not Sami. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> um, Sams, thank you for the 10 dollars. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah. Rachel, thank you for the dono too. Uh, oh, you're finally able to watch your streams after work today. Feels like you haven't been able to watch stream in a long time. Yeah, that has been a while. Yeah, hope you've been well. And everybody that's been, you know, busy. Take care, okay? Mitsu, thank you for the uh, bits. Sane, thank you for the bits too. Um, Momose, thank you for the dono. Ash, and remember, thank you guys for the donos too. Sane, Jazzy, and uh, thank you guys for the don uh, bits. Alto, thank you for the 25 gift subs, as always. Uh, and if, as always, if you guys um got a gift sub from anybody throughout the stream, be sure to give them a big thank you, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Pancakes, thank you for the dono. Thank you so much, Pancakes. Uh, Bay, thank you for the two tier one gift subs. And uh, Yosa and Pit Peachy, thank you for the bits too. Um, Hermit, thank you for the bits. Anita, thank you for the dono. Happy Friday. Oh yeah, we got a stream in like, what, seven hours from now. Oh my god. <laughs> Milk, thank you for the $5. Bizget, I mean, the, for the five tier ones. Bizget, thank you for the 10 tier ones too. Yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support tonight. And thanks for coming by to another uh, horror stream. We're going to be playing... De uh, Friday the 13th later tonight uh, with a bunch of people so be sure to come by for that and I'll see you guys then okay other than that I'm going to hop off for now and look for somebody to raid but um, before I do that be sure to follow uh, the channel on Twitch if you haven't done so already subscribe if you uh, like what you see and um, be sure to follow me on Twitter YouTube Billy Billy and TikTok and join Discord server okay alright bye guys Mwah. take care okay love ya All right, let's see who is around who is live to raid right now we can go and raid i think i read it have i rated rpr in a while i don't think i have have i sure you know what let's rate rpr and then hop out of here okay and just in time because my phone was about to die. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. See you later tonight, okay?